let's go Heat. This is a massive game for our Miami Heat tonight as they host the New York Knicks. Eight games to go in the regular season. Eight games left to play to determine where NBA playoff seeds will be in mid-April. And this game right here tonight will have massive implications for the rest of the NBA season. And it feels like a playoff type game if you're asking me. I'm absolutely juiced. I'm hoping you guys are too. Welcome into the Heat Report. By Chad Sports, I'm Nick Roloff. This is going to be the third time the Heat and Knicks play this season. The New York Knicks are 2-0 against Miami this season. Both games occurring in the Big Apple. This one, though, in the 305, and I have a feeling it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a great game today, and it's going to be a must-win game for our Miami Heat. Already got 50 people in the building. Shout out your city for me down below. I'm ready to go lace them up, folks. I want the 50 people in the chat to know already that if I was called upon by Coach Eric Spolster tonight, I would be able to give a solid 10 to 15 minutes before my heart explodes. I'm ready to go. I uh, I swear to God, I feel like this is a playoff game. I don't know if it's the Celsius I'm drinking. Hashtag not sponsored, should be sponsored. But I got the juices. I got the amps. Heater miss missing two players today. Just no Tyler Hero. No Josh Richardson. Everyone else is ready to go. The Knicks do not have Julius Randle or OG Ananobi still. This is a must-win game for Miami to get the final eight-game stretch put in a right direction so they can get the six seed or the five seed. And this also knocks the Knicks down a peg, potentially, if they win from getting the third seed, which allows Miami to have a better chance matching up with the Cleveland Cavaliers in round one. I am absolutely fired up for today's game. We got Loctera in Illinois, my guy Tamar Bowles in New Jersey, my guy McSpedden in New York, Oreos in Miami, Tyman in Ohio, J-Boy in Baton Rouge, Chase in Fort Lauderdale, we got Bob type in MIAs, we got Fort St. Lucie, Florida from Yami, Miami from Joe, Oh, man, New Jersey from New Gen. Brian says Miami likes. Bay Boy says Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I don't know about you guys, but I am fired up for today's game. This is going to be a fantastic ball game. Jimmy Butler, he knows it's April time. He knows it's time to pull up and show out and get these massive wins. I expect a Jimmy Butler masterclass today for a good old Heat-Knicks rivalry. Let's freaking go. What's up, Brian? What's up, man? I hope we can beat the Knicks, too. I hope we can beat the Knicks, too. Even that scumbag that is Josh Hart acknowledges it's time for this time or for Jimmy to really turn up. Earlier today, a quote came out from Mr. Josh Hart, the slide tackler that he is. Um, saying that it's like Jimmy does a bunch of side quests throughout the entire season, and then once the calendar turns to April, the main quest begins. And I kind of like that, the main quest. I might have to steal that, because the only thing that matters for this Miami Heat team is making the NBA Finals and potentially getting their fourth NBA title as a franchise. That is the main quest. That's all Miami cares about. Let's go. Tamar, I appreciate you tapping in with here, saying what's up. You, nah, you know, you, we're, we're always cool, Tamar. You, before you head over to Knicks now, but uh, I'm going to root against you today, Tamar. I'm going to root against you, Tamar. Uh, I'm sorry to say that. Little Vince saying Heat Nation. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, I'm ready to put up 10 to 15 minutes. If, if Spo gave me the call right now, I'll fly down to the 305 and get, get my shoes ready. I'll be ready. I'll be ready to go. Chase asks, do you think DJ Burns is too slow, slow for the NBA? Yeah. I, unfortunately, the cool story that is DJ Burns, the big man from NC State, I just don't see a way that he's going to be good in the NBA unless he loses a lot of weight. But, man, I like his game. I like his fundamentals. It's really good stuff. It's just that I don't think he's athletic enough. And even if he lost the weight, to be honest, and got more spin and more athletic, I still don't know if he's a good enough player to be in the NBA. But maybe he'll prove me wrong. Hopefully he does because 
that I don't like to be right about those types of things. You know what I mean? Like I hope everyone succeeds and they're able to make a long um, career in the NBA, but I just don't see that being a really possible thing. A lot to talk to before we get tipped off today in about 20 minutes. But first, let me show some love to one of our sponsors, Factor Meals, my favorite sponsor here at the Heat Report, the number one ready-to-eat meal delivery kit in America, and they're giving you 50% off when you head to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and use code heatchat50. There's over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Fresh, never frozen meals that are chef crafted and dietitian approved, ready to go in just two minutes. They get delivered right to your door. It's the absolute best. They're also flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. You can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. So get started today with Factor Meals, 50% off when you go to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and use code heatchat50 get 50% off. That link is in the live chat and description of today's live show. Also sponsored by Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Over 3 million people play Prize Picks on a daily basis, and y'all know I am one of them. All you do is pick more than or less than on two to more player stat projections, and you can watch the winnings roll in. It is that easy. March might be over, but the biggest moments in college basketball tip off in the month of April. Final four for both the men's and women's tournament coming up this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Really fun week ahead of basketball in the college scene. You know I'll be glued in. But I also made some picks for tonight's game. It's Taco Tuesday! They're giving you a little bonus off here. Luka Doncic is 28 and a half points rather than 33 and a half. I'll take the more than on Luca. And then in our game today, I'll take the more than on Jimmy and Jalen. The stars are going to be out to play today in a massive matchup between New York and Miami. More than 48 and a half points combined. Would not shock me if they combined for over 65 points as a two duo. And I'll also take the more than on Bam and a bio three and a half assist game. This feels like a Bam all around game. Maybe not with the scoring, but rebounding defense and playmaking for his teammates, I'll take the more than their three and a half. So get started today. Download the app at the App Store and then input code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. Or go to the live chat and description of today's stream and click on that link, prizepix.com slash CLNS, and use code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more than, pick less than. It's that easy. You know what time it is, though. It is time to let me know who you got as we're 16 minutes away from tip. MIA for the Heat, NYK for the Knicks. Get those votes down below as we already got 81 people in the building. I feel a good audience tonight. I feel good energy tonight. I don't know what it is. As long as this game is a close game, I feel like we're going to have a banger of a stream on tap tonight. And I could not be more excited for that. Listen, there's only two games left, or games, two weeks left in the regular season. Think about it. Four games this week, tonight against the Knicks, Thursday against the Sixers, which they'll likely have Joel Embiid back for, by the way. He's making, I believe, his return tonight. He was listed as questionable. So Embiid will be playing on Thursday in all likelihood. Friday against the Rockets, and then Sunday, a massive, massive game against the Pacers. To me, you have to go 3-1 and one this week if you want to have any chance of getting the six seed. You have to beat Indiana, you have to beat Philly, and then you have to split tonight and Friday against the Rockets. The Rockets are playing good ball right now, so that's why tonight's game is massive, massive, massive. Knock the Knicks down a peg in the standings, put yourself up in the standings as well, get yourself a better chance for the six seed, bump them down, and let's get this big week started with a victory and then next week we have the Hawks the uh, the Mavericks and then the Raptors twice to round out the regular season before we get ready for playoff hoops baby playoff hoops and I want to avoid the play -in. we got MIA from Tamia Mr. Geo Eric Lewis Axie Chase Max Jimmy Tyman Antonius I love it, baby. What's up, Robert Fowler? What's up, Robert? Um, I'm not worried about Embiid on Thursday because he'll still be a little bit rusty, and Bam's been really good against Joel Embiid for his entire career. 
Uh, I don't really think it's going to be something I'm sweating. And even when they're fully healthy, I still think the Heat would beat them in the play-in theory or play-in game. Uh, and I think Miami, if they had to play them in the series, would beat them in five or six as well. Open it up with a super chat. Shout out to Sam Lockterra getting the party started. We'll showcase our super chat menu after I read this off. Who is your favorite player from your most hated NBA, NFL, and MLB team? Question mark. You know what? This is a great question. This is a good question. Um, all right. Okay. So let's let's break this down by first. We'll start with the NBA, Lockterra. My most hated team in the NBA is the Boston Celtics. New York Knicks are number two, um, but the Celtics are one. So my favorite player on the Celtics. Um, I got the I got the the bullpen yelling Sam Hauser. Favorite player on the Celtics. I can't stand Tatum. I can't stand Jalen Brown. I don't like Derek White. I do not like. Kristaps. I do not like Al Horford. I despise Luke Cornett. Ah, uh, shit. I'll, I'll go. I think if I, I, I wouldn't say favorite, but fa favorite player is a stretch here because I'm really going. I'll say Drew Holiday. Um, I like, I like what he brings defensively. Uh, I think he's a good player. Plus, he's never really killed Miami. We actually own Drew Holiday. Shout out Milwaukee last year. I, I probably would say Drew Holiday is my favorite player on the Celtics. All right, my most hated NFL team. That is the Buffalo Bills. Fucking hate the Bills. Favorite player on the Bills? Ooh. I know it's good. This I know this be controversial. I actually like Josh Allen. Like, I do. Like, I think Josh Allen's a cool dude. I think he's a fantastic football player. He just kills my team. But I think in a vacuum, I actually like Josh Allen as a player. I like. I think he's a cool guy. He's a fun player to watch. It just sucks that he has to destroy my team every single year. What would you say? Yeah, and Haley Seinfeld. She's cool. My most hated MLB team this goes in between the New York Yankees and the Atlanta Braves. Um, to make this answer easier for myself, I'll go Atlanta Braves for this one um, because I do not like a single player to ever play for the New York Yankees, and that is an actual fact. I, I, if you put on a Yankee uniform, at least while you were playing for them, I actively despise you. That's how much I hate the Yankees. But the Braves have been pissing me off so much lately because they have owned the Mets when the Mets have started to be competitive, and I think my most hated or the my – most okay player on the Braves. I'd say Travis Darno because it used to be a Met, but I won't go cop out here, Lockterra. I actually do like Ronald Acuna. I think he's a lot of swag, and I like watching him play. So there's my answers. Josh Allen for the NFL, um, Drew Holiday for the NBA, and Ronald Acuna in the MLB because I went with my best player, or the favorite player on each of those teams, even though I hate them. Our super chat menu today is we have 11 minutes away from tip-off. Simple, simple, simple. Any super chat gets on the show. A $20 super chat gets your name into the Heat Hall of Fame ball, gets you into the on the ball right here. We're continuing to fill this out, and we take a shot of tequila as well for that. $50 is a beer bong. I got my happy moms on deck today. You already know how it goes. And my deal of the day. We don't have a thing picked out just yet for the month of April in our raffle. We'll have that ready for the next stream on Thursday. But if you send in a $10 Super Chat today, the deal of the day is $10 shots. And if you send in a $10 Super Chat, I'll take a shot. But I'll also write down your name so when we decide what our month-long raffle item is going to be for April, we will have you written down for that as well. Hey, McSpedden. McSpedden, what are you doing out here? McSpedden, don't don't expose don't expose me. Stop. Stop it. Stop it, McSpedden. Nah, most of them know. Most of them know. Yeah, see no I'm, I am a Mets fan. I am a Mets fan. My dad was born in Queens. I grew up in New York. Um not New York City, just the, the state of New York. So it, it just kind of was like, 
I'm, it was the only thing that I took after from my dad. My dad's a Las Vegas Raiders fan. I wasn't going to be a shitty Raiders fan. That, that, that's, no, that's no fun. Um, and my dad and my family really doesn't watch the NBA at all, so I kind of was a trailblazer on the NBA term, and that's why I became a fan of Miami. So D. Wade, shout out my GOAT, baby, D. Wade. If you're ready for the game, like the video. We got 105 people watching. We are only four likes away from 50. I don't even really have to ask you all that much to get 50 likes before tip-off. We're just four away. Hit that like, up. Hit that like button so we can get to 50 likes and I can get today's party started with a shot of tequila or a $10 super chat is a shot of tequila today. Joe Lawton says, hey, bro, am I on that ball? Um, Joe, I think I offered – Did I think I did. Right? Because you sent in another – Two dollars super chat last time, right? Yeah, yeah, Joe, Joe. I wrote you down right here, Kit, Joe. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought I wrote you down. I thought I remembered you. I thought I remember that. CTS Will says, What are your predictions for the game as we do cross fifty likes? I, I think the Heat win today. Um I really do because both teams have battled injury all year long. The Knicks have not been playing good ball as of Ever since January, with that 14 and two in the first month of the year, they've been 13 and 13 lately. They lost a close one the other day on Sunday to the Oklahoma City Thunder SGA buzzer, not really a buzzer beater, but a game winner. They're without OG. They're without Julius Randle still. Heat are healthy. The Heat have been kind of hot lately, even though they're three and two in their last five. The three wins Miami have are a combined like average of like 20 plus points. So they've just been dominating teams right now when they win. And I think Miami and Jimmy Butler knows the importance of this game. They know that they need to win this game if they want to avoid the play-in and get a favorable matchup in the postseason. So I expect a full-on postseason mindset from Miami. And I, like I said, I think Jimmy Butler shows up and gives you his all today. And if Jimmy Butler shows up and gives you it all today, then I believe Miami will be able to win. The odds makers think so as well. Last time I checked, the Heat were favored by two and a half points. 50 likes, shout to y'all. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time to lock in, folks. We're almost there. We're almost there. Mitchell Robinson is playing tonight for the Knicks. That's a big pickup for them. That's a big pickup for them. They need they need him. They need him. But let me ask y'all, who does Miami need tonight? Who needs to step up the most for Miami to get a big win at home? Caleb Martin is back in the lineup after missing Sunday's game against Washington. Starting lineup for Miami is the one they've been rocking with when uh, Duncan Robinson is healthy. They've got Rozier and Duncan in the backcourt, Jimmy, Bam, and Jovich in the front court. A.E. saying Bam. Jay the Fox says Jimmy, Terry, and Duncan. Okay, okay. Mr. Geo says Caleb. Antonius Duncan. Eric Lewis, Jimmy. Tamar says Roll, you got me trying to lose some weight. Thanks, bro. Tamar, that's awesome, man. G good luck on your journey, Tamar. Um, you, you have seen how long it's been for me and uh, how far I've come. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, go even further. You know what I mean? Not not settling, baby. Not settling tomorrow. Joe says Duncan. The kid Yayo says Jimmy triple-double. Okay. Aiden Law says Bam. Yeah, if we're able to get 100 shots before tip, if we could pick up 44 more likes in five and a half minutes, I'll take two shots, which would make three shots um, before the game starts. Bob says Rozier, Brian Rozier. Tamar says, you good, don't lose too much. I'm trying to I'm trying to get – I still got a lot of fat in my body. I try to turn that to muscle. I've been doing a better job of that, weight training. Um, but you know what's the issue there is that in order for you to really burn the fat off your body, you got to limit the carb intake. Like you cannot have a lot of carbs, and that's been the most difficult thing for me because even when I'm eating healthy – it's hard not to have a lot of carbs. Like protein bars have carbs. 
you got a lot of fruit that are high in carbs. I mean, even when you have low calorie bread, it's still got a lot of carbs as well. It's the hardest thing, man. I just love, I love bread. Like I love peanut butter as well. So it's kind of hard to not to have peanut butter without having carbs with it because what are you gonna put the peanut butter on unless you're just really scooping it out? And even that, right? Ah, it's tough. Hey, yeah, I mean, no, no pool for me. There's no pool in my in my room, man. Yeah. Sam, I actually did do that. I like went full on keto a couple weeks ago where I did not have any carbs, like or sugar, and I went like super, super into keto, and I had, like, chest pain, so I kind of had to stop, because I was getting nervous, um, yeah, that, that was, that was pretty nervy, nervy, yes, indeed, ooh, Chase is doing push-ups, I, I, I want to do some push-ups right now, I want to do some push-ups, ooh, 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 uh, almost, Time for tip off. Anyone else gonna join Locktera in the super chat? He said, "Hey, he says chest pains just withdraw." All right, maybe I'll maybe I'll get it a go, give it a go again, and push through the chest pains. The problem with the chest pain was it wasn't happening when I was like walking around doing things on a daily basis. The chest pain was happening when I was doing cardio on the treadmill or I go in to play basketball. And I was getting scared because it was like, I actually like to go on runs. I like to play basketball. Basketball is my favorite hobby in the world. Like, if I'm not working, I'm at the gym probably playing basketball or working out, to be honest. That's, like, what my life is at this point. So the fact that it was, like, hurting and, like, I wasn't able to do it as much as I wanted to, I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous. It was not happening when I was walking around on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually loved how it was. It was when I was trying to do cardio and play basketball, and I was just like, well, if that's going to continue, then I'm going to stop this diet because I like playing basketball and running pace and running. All right, enough about me, about the game. Come on. Who needs to step up tonight as we're two and a half away from tip-off? Maybe it's me. Maybe I got to bring better energy on the live stream today. I'm doing a scribble series right now. Y'all can't see. Y'all couldn't see, but I was kind of getting crafty right there. I was kind of getting crafty today. Who needs to step up the most tonight? Maybe it's you guys. Maybe it's a player on the team. Maybe it's y'all. More Super Chats equal wins. Think about our last two streams, by the way. Last Friday, we got crazy litty. Had like $330 in Super Chats. Eat one big at home. On Sunday, we got over $200 in Super Chats. Eat win big in Washington. Big day in Super Chats on the channel equal heat win. Big wins? I don't know, Jim. I don't know. It seems like that's possible. Eric. Oh, shit. Ooh, ball's coming back. Eric Lewis says, when is Hero coming back? Undetermined. I mean, no one has said a word when he's coming back. I am hoping that Tyler's going to make a return by the end of next week if he could play a couple games before the regular season ends. Like, you play those two games on Friday and Sunday against the Raptors, um, and then hopefully the Heat have the sixth seed and get a week off. That's the goal. But, I, 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 I like I said, I've, I'm done trying to give guesses on when he's coming back because I have no effing clue. If you're ready for the game, type me. Let's go. Minute till tip-off. Fan those me's down below. Let's go. Joe's typing me. A.S. I'm chugging the Celsius to get all the energy out, and then we'll start shouting people out. Joe, A.S., Yami, Daniel, Michael, Aiden, Brian, D. Mike, Melvin, Tyler, Antonius, Eric, Yami, Jimmy, Let's go. Starting lineup for New York. Jalen Brunson, Miles McBride, Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, and Isaiah Hartenstein. So even though Mitchell Robinson is active today, they're still going to bring him off the bench. And then for Miami, Ty Ty uh, Terry Rozier, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jovic, and Bam Adebayo. Heat culture unis being rocked today. Heat culture shorts in or court. 
today as well. And we are ready to go as the teams are in their huddle for the final time before they walk out onto the court for what feels like a playoff game. It is a playoff game if you're asking me for Miami because it's a must win. New York is probably still going to end up in the 4-5 regardless. But if they have any hopes of being a 3 seed or even climbing up to the 2 seed, they have to win tonight. It's time to go. Who you got? MIA for the Heat. NYK for the Knicks. It's time to get rolling, folks. It's time to get rolling. Oh. Uh, I wish I could play music right now. Um, but I can't because I'd be copyrighted, but I'd absolutely play some Seven Nation Army on my phone, put it right in the mic, and then we could just have a Seven Nation Party Army today, or party, but uh, unfortunately we can't do that. But anyway, here we go. Ooh. Man, that Celsius is really hitting today, I think. Ah, that Celsius is really hitting. I got the juice, Sam. I got the juice. Playoff atmosphere in Miami tonight. Let's go. Heat rocking the Heat culture, unis. Knicks rocking their white. Heat 0-2 against New York this year. They need to change that, and let's get a win. Let's get a win. It's also the first time these two teams have matched up in Miami. The first two games were in New York before. No, one was before in November. One was in... I think January when the Heat were really struggling and the Knicks were super, super hot. Center circle, bam, Hartenstein, bam, wins the tip. So we're going to win the game. Butler will get the offense started by handing it off to Terry Rozier. Rozier guarding by Miles McBride. Jovich guarded by Jalen Brunson. Jovich drives inside, layup, no good, but a foul. Nikola Jovic earning himself a trip to the charity stripe right off the bat and picking up a foul on Jalen Brunson. Jovic missed the right-handed layup. It looked like Brunson gave him a little forearm shove in the side there as he was going up for the layup. Yeah, yeah, a little very subtle, a little try-to-be-crafty move by Brunson, but clearly gave him a little shove there on the hip. Jovic at the line, nets the first, and that's how the scoring Get started in this ball game. The rare one nothing score right now. I like that though. Jovic being aggressive early with Brunson on him. Brunson very small compared to Jovic. I mean that's like an eight inch difference. Jovic is six ten. Excuse me. Brunson six two. Brunson will bring it up. Jimmy defending him. Maybe Butler's taking that assignment and getting locked in defensively. I don't hate this. Brunson on the left wing will get a screen from Hartenstein. Brunson drives, kicks to McBride, who drives baseline, swings it to Hartenstein, now to Hart, out to DiVincenzo, corner three for DiVincenzo, no good, and Jovic on the glass with a board. Jovic bringing it up, up to Duncan Robinson now. Duncan, Jovic, two-man game, back out to Rozier, corner three. No good for Terry, but great ball movement from Miami. Jovic in the action early. Brunson back the other way from Miami, or excuse me, New York, Duncan Robinson picks him up. Brunson crosses over, hangs, floater, good, and we're even at two. Can't leave Duncan on an island with Jalen Brunson because, well, that's the that's a mismatch if I've ever seen. Rozier now the other way. Pick and roll inside. Drop off to Adebayo. Adebayo loses it, gets it out to Butler. Corner triple for Jimmy. Left it short, but it is rebounded offensively by Bam. Bam. To Rozier in the corner. Terry drives baseline. Drop off to Adebayo. Bam doubled. Out to Jovic. Jovic sidesteps to Jimmy. Corner three again for Butler. And that one splashes home. Jimmy Butler with a triple to put Miami up 5-2. Missed his first. Did not miss his second. Same spot right off the catch. Jovic, little assist there as well. He's accounted for all five points. Almost stolen by Butler, but it's given to Hart. Hart inside, out to DiVincenzo. Chenzo on Duncan. Floater gets a friendly roll to fall. So the big ragu gets on the board for New York. 5-4. Rozier to the rim, right by McBride for an easy layup. 7-4. Atta boy, Terry. That's the difference that... Terry Rozier brings to this Heat team abilities to get 
a bucket in isolation setting. Hartenstein, a decent playmaker, gets it to Brunson. Pull up three for Jalen Brunson, goes, and we're even at seven. Brunson has given Miami issues in their history, that is for sure. Brunson cooked Miami both times he's played them this year. Bam's got it, hands off to Duncan. Duncan chased by DiVincenzo. Duncan gets another screen and almost turns it over, but it's going to be off Josh Hart, out of bounds. So it's baseline out of bounds for Miami as we're tied at seven. McKenna says in the chat, Rozier should abuse Deuce McBride. I mean, Deuce McBride's a really good defender. So I'm not going to say you should abuse him. But there's Rozier coming off a curl. Corner triple. Good! Terry Rozier up to five points. Rozier has been hot lately, averaging damn near 20 points in his last three games. Brunson swings it to McBride, up to Hart. Hart to DiVincenzo. And this game is tied once again. Heat getting a little out of rotation here. Chenzo's now got five points for New York. Bam, swings it to Duncan. Duncan, screened by Jovic. Back to Bam. Bam to Butler on the right wing. Jimmy and Bam will two-man it up now. Jimmy uses the screen, gets into the paint, drops it off to Jovic, who is stripped from behind on the catch, and New York is out and running. Brunson, Eurostep, fouled by Duncan Robinson, and Jalen Brunson will go to the line for two. I'll say this, is that Duncan Robinson has not looked good early in this one on the defensive side of the ball. You can tell it's been the game plan of New York to get switches on the Duncan and then go attack him on dribble drives. It has worked almost every single time. That's the only concern there if you're Miami. Brunson's first free throw is good. 11-10. Ooh. Brennan says, you guys should have this one, man. We're in shambles right now. Excuses already in the first quarter? I thought I expected better out of Nick. Brunson's second free throw, no good. Brunson missed some free throws on Sunday's game against the Thunder in the clutch, so it's interesting there that he has a little bit of a free throw issue when it matters. Duncan in the Butler, out to Jovic. Corner three for Nikola is good! Nikola Jovic has five points. The kid is just a shooter, man. Heater three of five from three. Heater three for five from beyond the arc. Jovic is a difference maker. I'm glad that he is paying me off for everything I said about him back in November, December, January, February, because he's been terrific. Miles McBride misses a three. Duncan with the rebound. Outlet to Rozier. Terry out and running. Gets a step, but kicks it back out to Bam. Bam to Duncan. Duncan relocates. Top of the key triple. Left it short, but Jimmy Butler offensive rebound. Back out to Duncan. Now to Jimmy in the corner once again. He's backing down Josh Hart. Jimmy gets to the lane. Goes up. Missed the left-handed layup, but they call a foul. So Jimmy Butler is going to go to the line for two. Made a three just a couple possessions to go. Now earning himself a trip to the charity stripe for the first time in today's game. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think the foul was there, but on second replay, it clearly was. Jimmy went up, got hit on his right arm, so tried to go for his left, airballed it, but got whacked on the right arm to where it's clearly a foul. Jimmy with three points in the ball game, going to the line for two. This feels like a playoff game. The way these two teams have played in this first quarter, the intensity – the execution, you can tell there is a very, there's a reason and purpose with everything that is being done on the court. And that is the true definition of playoff basketball. Butler goes two for two, so he's got five points. Rozier has five. Jimmy has five. And Jovic has five. Brunson on the right wing. Drives inside, out to McBride. McBride triple, good. He can shoot, man. He can shoot. The Heat he have struggled with their dribble drive penetration. The Knicks have been able to get into the paint, which have been able to allow them to kick it out for open threes. That can't happen. Butler, pump fakes a three, is fouled by Hart. That is Josh Hart's second foul of the quarter, second back-to-back -back possessions. 
It will be side out for Miami when we return from our first TV timeout of the game. The Heat have to contain the dribble drive better if you're asking me. And the Heat report needs to pick up more subscribers. 260 people watching right now early in the first quarter. I said I felt a good audience day, and we're on point with that mark right there. If you're a Miami Heat fan, you should subscribe to the channel because I put out daily content surrounding the Miami Heat. going to be live for every single game the rest of the way, as well as the postseason as well. will be the number one spot for NBA draft rumors, NBA free agency, trade rumors surrounding the Miami Heat. If you want to be in the know on everything surrounding Heat basketball, this is the channel for you. Hit that sub button and let's climb up closer to 10,000, specifically 9,100 today. That should be an absolute must if you're asking me. What's up, Jesus Batista? Good to see you in the chat. That's a legend. That's a Hall of Famer. Rashard Lee asked, did Bronny transfer? Yeah, Bronny James did, in fact, enter the transfer portal today. It should not be surprising, considering his head coach, Andy Enfield, at USC left for SMU. So I don't know if he's going to transfer to a bigger school or come with his coach that recruited him to USC, to SMU. That would be kind of lit because that's in Dallas, Texas, and like five minutes away from my crib. So I'd be able to go watch Bronny James in person. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, Wazowski's in the building. What's up, Wazowski? What's up, Wazowski? Richard Lee, I'm not saying Bronny to Dallas. I'm certainly saying it's possible because that's where his college head coach that he was just playing with went to, but I don't think he's actually going to come to SMU. That's too little of a school for Bronny James. That's too little of a school if you're asking me. Willie Jean says over 100K New York families left last year, and they think they can come over and take over as basketball fans. F-O-H. F out of here. F out of here. We're almost back to action. 6.55 to go in the first quarter. It's been tightly contested. A lot of offense. Jalen Brunson last Friday had 61 points. Oh, and our main man, one of the legends here at the Heat Report, Jesus Batista with a $20 super chat. Let's go, Heat. Sup, Roly. Sup, Jesus. P.S. Don't forget to subscribe. That's why this guy's a real one. He just knows the business better than anyone. We'll get Jesus Batista a, another name on the ball, and I'll take a shot in our next timeout. Shout out to Batista. He basketballs. They inbound to Jovic. Jovic stripped by Brunson but gets it back. Jovic now hands it off to Rozier. Terry drives right, spins into the baseline, or I should middle of the floor, and misses a little jumper. Rebound down to Josh Hart. He's out and running. Out to Brunson in the corner. Jalen Brunson back out to McBride. It's stolen by Duncan Robinson. But he throws it right to Isaiah Hartenstein. Hart out to Chenzo. Three. No good. Rebound Miami. Dodged a bullet there. Come on, Duncan. Great defensive play, but I know you were saving it before going out of bounds, but it's not like you were going to throw such an inaccurate pass there. That can't happen. Butler sees two bodies. Spins. Swings it to Duncan. What a pass from Jimmy. To Robinson, the corner, who splashes the triple. Heat out to a hot start offensively from beyond the arc. That was an unbelievably good pass by Jimmy Butler. Left his feet, didn't have anywhere to go, but found Duncan in the corner. Brunson, pull up three on Jimmy. Left it short. Jovic with the rebound. Jovic, outlet up ahead to Jimmy. Jimmy catches it, settles, and now backs down on DiVincenzo. Butler double teamed. Jimmy swings at the Bam baseline, who smokes the layup. Come on, Bam. McBride out and running. Deuce McBride kicks it back out to DiVincenzo. Chenzo thought about the three, but instead resets the offense to Hartenstein. In the DiVincenzo on a backdoor cut, he's fouled. So number zero for New York is going to head to the line for two, and Butler whistled for the foul. Can't be caught on those backdoor cuts, man. Cannot be cut on those cuts. Hartenstein's too good of a passer for New York to not be 
paying attention to detail like that. DiVincenzo makes the first free throw, 18-15, as we are first subs of the day. Caleb Martin checking in for Miami. I believe Duncan Robinson checks out. No, I'm wrong on that. Butler does check out. So Caleb in for Jimmy. Mitchell Robinson in for Hartenstein. So one sub each. Chenzo up to seven points now for New York. Rozier swings it to Caleb Martin. Martin drives. Swings it back out to Duncan. Duncan back to Caleb. Caleb will launch a three from the top of the key. Off the mark. Jalen Brunson with the rebound, and he'll bring it up. Brunson met by Jovic. That's not a good matchup for Miami. This is a better one as Bam switches on to Jalen Brunson. Bam dry, or drives left. Quick layup. No good. You could tell that Brunson was conscious of Adebayo trailing him and rushed the layup and missed it. Adebayo brings it up for Miami. On Mitchell Robinson. Gets to the middle of the paint. Pump fake. Goes up. Fouled. And Bam will head to the line. Could not make the jumper after getting bumped, but... Got Mitchell Robinson up in the air. And if you go back to last season, when Miami and New York matched up in the second round of the postseason, Bam was dominant in that series. He absolutely dominated Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein in those games. And you can see there that Bam's quickness just kind of gets the better of Mitchell Robinson. This game is in Miami too, Wavy. Bam misses the first free throw, though. Can't be missing those bands. You've been really good at the free throw line lately, but can't miss them. Our good old pal Precious Achua checking into the ball game for the first time. Knicks go a little bit bigger here as Josh Hart heads to the bench. So they have a too big lineup of Mitchell Robinson and Precious Achua. Heat still rocking with Bam and Jovic in the front court. Four and a half to go in the first frame. Bam, second free throw. That one is nothing but nylon. So Heat lead by three, 1960. Brunson will bring it up. Caleb Martin defending. Hands it off to McBride. Swung over to DiVincenzo. Now to Mitchell Robinson. Robinson looked for Brunson. Couldn't get it to him. Now McBride. McBride blocked by Duncan Robinson, but they whistle him for a foul. That is D. Rob's second foul of the quarter. So he's already a little bit in the foul trouble. And now Deuce McBride, who's been starting as of late for New York, has been playing good basketball. He'll go to the line for two. Oh, yeah, Duncan fouled the shot. I mean, come on, Duncan. Got to be better than that. Free throw for McBride, good. I'd imagine Duncan checks out here. He does. It will be Jaime Jaquez Jr. sitting in for Robinson. He are in the bonus, so the next time Miami's fouled, it will be free throws. Jovic, Bam, Hakez, Caleb Martin, and Rozier, the five for Miami. McBride goes two for two at the line. 19-18 is the score. Hakez will bring the ball up, and he turns it over. Weak pass. Lazy pass from Jaime Hakez. Can't do that. Come on, Triple J. Got to be better than that. Brunson now guarded by Caleb Martin. Gets a screen from Achua, looking for the switch with Jovic. Brunson to the corner. DiVincenzo three, misses it. Offensive rebound, Mitchell Robinson, but he smokes the layup. Bam with the board. He's out and running. Bam swings it to the Rozier. Wide open left wing three, and he knocks it home. Terry Rozier. Rozier's been terrific in this first quarter, as he has been over the last three games for Miami. It feels like he has really turned a corner for this Heat team, where we are getting a consistent bucket in Terry Rozier every single game. Brunson drives, drops off the big bride, floater, good. So Knicks answer with a two of their own here to make it a two-point ball game. Rozier back the other way. Swings it to Caleb Martin. Martin drives baseline, turns it over. A lot of contact there, but no call. Knicks out and running, and they turn it over. Chenzo hits the deck. It's five on four for Miami. They should have numbers. Martin to the corner. Rozier, three. Good! And a foul! A four-point play for Terry Rozier! He is absolutely cooking in this first quarter. 
Uh, it was a five on four, and Deuce McBride commits the foul. Type those twos. Scary Terry is giving the Knicks nightmares right now. His third three in the first quarter, the leading scorer in this ball game. This is why Pat Riley made the deal with Charlotte two and a half weeks prior to the NBA trade deadline. What a first period for Terry Rozier. Rozier makes the free throw to convert the four-point play. It's the largest lead of the game for Miami at six points. Terry's got 12 points in the first period. Kevin Love checks into the ball game for the first time in, since February 27th, and he sits down, bam. So it's Jovic and Kevin Love, ultra spacing for Miami here. Jovic, excellent defense on Achua. Loose ball, but it finds New York. Ball swung around, Deuce McBride three, no good. Excellent possession defensively for Miami. Hawkes brings it up. Guarded by Chenzo, drives inside, second turnover of the quarter. Hawkes, come on, man. Brunson out and running, Jalen to the rim, loose ball, out of bounds, it's off Brunson, heading back to Miami. It's a turnover for New York, and the Heat will have the ball coming out of our second timeout of the quarter. How about Terry? Mother effing Rozier. That's a good call by the official. It clearly went off the foot of Jalen Brunson. 2.20 to go in the first period. Miami up six. They'll have ball when we come out of the timeout. During this TV timeout, though, I have to tell you about something that is as good as Terry Rozier right now, and that is Factor Meals, the number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service in North America. They ship right to your door. You can choose as many meals as you want on a weekly basis. You can pause or reschedule your deliveries if you absolutely need to, but I'm telling you right now, you won't want to. Look at these meals on screen. They're chef-crafted, dietitian approved that are not frozen. They were always fresh. You can choose between keto, calorie conscious, protein plus, veggie and vegan, more options as well. 60 plus add-ons like pancakes, breakfast bites, wellness shots, protein shakes, smoothies, juices. They have it all delivered right to your front door. No prep needed, no cooking needed, no cleaning up needed. It is the best way to stay up to date with your cravings as well as getting nutritious, delicious food without having to sacrifice time of cooking. So get started today, factormeals.com slash Heat Chat 50 and use code Heat Chat 50 to get 50% off. Link is in the live chat and description of today's live show. <laughs> Woo! What a start for Miami, and we are getting Jesus Batista on the Hall of Fame ball once again. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus Batista. $20 Super Chat gets him on the Hall of Fame ball once again. Woo! It's also a shot of tequila. $10 shot tonight. It's usually $20 Super Chat is a shot. But today, the Roly deal of the day is a $10 Super Chat equals a shot of tequila. $20 is a shot and a name on the Hall of Fame ball. We got all the deals on tap today, folks. All the deals. All the deals. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Rozier, four of six from the field, three for four from beyond the arc. He's been absolutely terrific in the opening 12 minutes. I could say just say opening 10 minutes, really. Does this not feel like a playoff game, folks? The intensity, the execution, it feels like we are getting an early trip into mid-April, even though it's just the first week of April. Jovic, what a pass inside! A great set by Eric Spolstra. It's an and one! A late call, I didn't see it. It's an and one for Jaime Hawkes Jr. inside. Hawkes gave it up to Jovic. A great back screen by Martin. Jovic fires a dart right over the defense. And Hawkins is able to lay it in. Not much of a foul, if we're going to be honest. Um, but we'll take it as Triple J will have a chance to convert the three-point play. What a pass from Jovic. It's 
spike. I'm dead. I'm dead. Could you imagine if Ronnie James was playing in Riley Center next year? That would be something. Oh, Hawkeyes at the line to potentially give Miami a nine-point lead. He does. It's the largest lead of the game. A terrific offensive first half, first quarter, I should say, for Miami. 57% shooting for the Heat. Bojan Bogdanovic checks in for Jalen Brunson. So no Brunson minutes here for New York. See if Heat can extend their nine-point lead. Bogdanovic drives on Martin, gets to his right hand, and lays it up and in. Oh, little hezzy hay from Bojan Bogdanovic. Heat back the other way. Jovic has it. Jovic will find the trailing Kevin Love. This is the first time Love has played since February 27th. So keep that in mind. Jovic is going to launch a three. He misses badly off the left side of the rim. Rebound down to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo will bring it up for the Knicks. Finds a curling Bogdanovich who bricks a three. Love with the board. He outlets it out to Hakez. Hakez, Jimmy Butler just checked back into the game for Rozier. Minute 15 to go in the first quarter. Butler on the right wing. Looks like a zone almost for New York. Butler drives. It's swung around to Kevin Love. And Love knocks down the three. Welcome back, Mr. Kevin Love. First shot attempt since February 27th, and he nets the three. He'd have seven triples in the first quarter. They are 7 of 12 from beyond the arc. Bogdanovich has it, guarded by Love. Gets Calls for a screen. They double Bogdanovich. It's swung around to the corner. DiVincenzo. Inside, out to McBride. One more to Bojan Bogdanovic, who can't beat the buzzer. Rebound down to Jimmy. Butler out and running. Drives right. Bump. No call. No, they do call a foul. The Heat are in the bonus. So with 31 seconds to go, Jimmy Butler's going to get a pair of free throws, and the Heat execute a perfect two-for-one situation where they get two free throws, and they will likely have last possession of the quarter, assuming they don't give up an offensive rebound. This is as good as a first 12 minutes you could ask for if you're a Heat fan. Great defense mixed with great offense. Butler makes the first free throw. Jimmy's been locked in on both sides of the floor early. It's now the largest lead of the game for Miami at 11. Woo! What a start, what a start, what a start, folks. Haywood Highsmith checks in for Nikola Jovic. Jovic with a very productive 11 and a half minutes. Had five points, I believe. Had a couple assists as well. Jovic played a really good opening frame. Jimmy goes two for two at the line. He's now four for four on the game. McBride will bring it up. So as long as the Heat do not allow an offensive rebound, they will have last possession. Even Chenzo gets a screen. He drives right, swings it. To no one. That ball should be on Shaqton, a fool. DiVincenzo threw it into the fourth row. So the Heat force a turnover, and it will be one last possession for Miami. Duncan Robinson will check into the ball game. I assuming taking out Haywood Highsmith, offense for defense there. Wow, that was embarrassing. That, that was embarrassing. Type your LOLs for DiVincenzo throwing a ball into the fourth row at the Kasaya Center with absolutely no one around him. Butler will bring it up, looking to increase their 12-point lead. Guarded by Josh Hart, 10 to go. To Caleb in the corner, back to Butler. Jimmy, 5. Hey, Highsmith, no, sets a screen. Jimmy, step back 3 in the corner. No good. And that will be the end of the first quarter. 34-22 is going to be the lead for Miami after the first 12 minutes of the ball game. You could not ask for an opening 12 minutes better than that if you are the Miami Heat. And now it's just all about continuing this, not letting your foot off the gas. Got to continue playing the defense. The defense is the part where Miami needs to keep their foot on. The Heat went 7 of 13 in the first quarter from 3. That is not going to continue. You, But what needs to continue is allowing only 22 points. That can be continued. I told you about him, right? Like, he's good, man. He added about 25, 30 pounds. He's been terrific. 350 people watching. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. 13 away from 9,100. 
I'll tell you what, if we could pick up 13 subscribers during this team TV timeout in between quarters, I'm taking a shot at Tequila. Daily Miami Heat content live for every game will be your number one spot for Heat coverage during the postseason, the NBA draft cycle, NBA for agency, because the Heat have a lot of decisions to make. And then if there's any trade rumors out there, we'll have it covered as well. Join the channel for daily Miami Heat content. And like I said, if we get 13 subscribers during this TV timeout, I'm taking a shot of tequila. Join the channel, baby. Join the channel. I don't know why you wouldn't want to join the channel. Rashard Lee says, who you got, Iowa or UConn? I'll probably rock with Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes. They're just terrific. Man. I mean, I was watching that game yesterday, and I, I'm telling you what, Caitlin Clark might be the most skilled women's basketball player of all time, right? Is that is that fair to say already? I mean, she was doing step back threes from 30 feet and draining them like there was nothing. Maybe I, maybe I'm uncultured. Maybe I am. Um, but I tell you what, like it's hard for me not to say that and be confident about it. But then you got Paige Buchers in UConn, man. Paige has been that girl for a while. She was like the I think she was the number one overall high school recruit when she was coming out, committed to the Huskies. She, she's nasty, man. They're, they're, both, they're both incredible basketball players. Incredible hoopers. And that's going to be a fun matchup. You thought LSU and Iowa was fun? That was fun because of the intensity and the little bit of a rivalry there, dating back to last year's national championship game. But just pure hoop, I think UConn and Iowa is going to be a better, better game. I, I'm fascinated, man. Page versus Caitlin Clark. Well, we didn't pick up any subscribers during that TV timeout. That's a little heartbreaking, if you ask me. <laughs> a little heartbreaking, if you ask me. All right, it's time to get ready and underway in the second quarter. Next, starting with basketball. Bogdanovich drives. It's stripped by Highsmith. Ball loose on the floor. It's gathered by New York. They'll have eight to shoot. McBride drives on Martin. Great defense by Caleb. It's back out to Hart. Hart inside, floater, no good. Offensive rebound fought for, gathered by New York. Bogdanovich drives inside, pull up mid-range, good. That can't happen. Knicks are a good offensive rebounding team, but you're going to have to be able to close out possessions if you want to win this game. Lead down to 10. Kevin Love's got at the elbow. Love in the Butler. Butler, eight-foot push shot, good. That is something Miami went to a lot in the postseason last year when Jimmy's at his best. Get him on the move, catching the basketball, allow him to put up that little shot in the paint or pump fake and draw a foul. Bogdanovich off a curl, driving on Highsmith. Oh, they call a foul. I thought Highsmith got the rejection clean, but they say a little contact there. So Bojan Bogdanovich, a pickup for the Knicks on NBA trade deadline day giving them some good scoring off the bench. I think they're going to call the foul on Jaime Jaquez Jr. reaching in because everything Haywood Highsmith did was absolutely clean. So if they called that on Highsmith, well, that's a pretty shitty call. But I looked like Jaquez did catch Bogdanovich on the arm. Boyan makes the first. Listen, I I I'll give the Knicks this. Jaquez got an and one where he probably wasn't fouled. So we'll, I'll, I'll give it a makeup call, even though this one might net New York two points and only netted us one. So I guess they're on the winning end of the makeup call, but it is what it is. Martin gets it up to Butler. Back to Caleb. Caleb to the rim. Great cut by Jaquez. It was dropped off to him. It's out of bounds. Who's going to have the ball? I think they give it to Miami. I don't know what's going on. I think they call the jump ball. It's off Hawkeyes. It should be Nick's ball. They're, but they're going to do a jump ball because the Zebras couldn't find and didn't know who was off up. I thought Caleb Martin had a reverse layup there. He should have taken it instead of dropping, uh, dropping it off. Caleb's usually never shy from taking shots, so I'm surprised at that one. The Knicks are going to challenge this call. They're going to win. So it will be Knicks basketball after this challenge. Are we going to go to a TV timeout here? 
because it should take, honestly, five seconds for them to determine who this ball is on. Yeah, I guess we are. So it's a good time for me to tell you about one of our sponsors on today's show, and that is Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in America with over 3 million users on a daily basis, with me being one of them. You can now turn, you can now win up 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You could turn 10 into 1,000 with basketball, ho hockey, college basketball, entries on prize picks, America's number one daily fantasy sports app. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplays, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes prize picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. So download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It is that easy, like I did today on my selection when I went more than on Luka Doncic, 28 and a half points. It's Taco Tuesday. He's their Taco Tuesday player. More than Jimmy Butler, 48 and a half combined points with Jalen Brunson. And then more than on Bam and Abayo, three and a half assists. We'll check back on how I did with my selections later in the live show. But get started with prize picks today. Download the app, code CLNS, or use the link that is in the live chat and description of today's live show to get started with prize picks at prizepicks.com slash ELF. Shout out to prize picks for sponsoring today's live show. Them and Factor Meals have been around for a while now, and I appreciate them dearly for allowing us to go live so often. They have been a main factor in us being able to go live for as long, much as we have, and you guys as well. Your guys' support, you guys liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel mixed with super chats, and then them coming along allows us to spend more time together. Spend more time together. I will say, though, for such a big game, I like the audience. The super chats have been a little lacking today. How about this? For the rest of the first half, I'll make a special deal for the Heat fans. For the rest of the first half, $20, beer ball. Yep, you heard me correctly. For the rest of the first half, 11 minutes to go until halftime. And that's game time, by the way. So that's really like probably like 20, 30 minutes. $20 beer bong. So $20 gets you a beer bong and an entry into the Miami Heat Hall of Fame. Who's going to take advantage? Knicks did win the challenge, so it is their ball to be expected, though. Like, it was clearly off Hawkeyes. It was clearly off High May. Say my volume's a little low, turn it up. I got you. I got you. Did anyone else feel that way? It, I turn it up a little bit. I just know that when I get excited, I don't want it to be too loud. That's my only concern. But I get excited often. All right, heat up 10. Bogdanovich drives left, double teamed, fouled by Haywood Highsmith. That's his second foul of the quarter. So got to be careful of that. Got to be careful of that. It's Duncan Love. Martin, Jimmy, and Highsmith for Miami. Hartenstein, Achua, Bogdanovich, Hart, and McBride for New York. Hartenstein drives and kind of fetuses Kevin Love there to cut the lead down to eight for Miami. 36-28. Hartenstein's a good ball player, man. One of the best backup centers in the NBA, but he's been a starter as of late. Duncan hesitated on a three, gets it to Kevin Love in the corner. Love guarded by Hart. Oh, I don't know what this possession's all about. Josh Hart... Defending Love well. Love inside. Layup. No good. Rebound fought for. Gathered by New York. No really transition opportunity for the Knicks. Hartenstein finds McBride in the back cut. It's blocked by Love. Kevin Love got a piece of it. Duncan, transition three. He's open. In and out. That was a good look for Miami, though. Hart to McBride. He'll launch a transition three and sink it. He's a shooter, man. You can't leave them, and now the Knicks have cut the lead to five with Jalen Brunson on the bench. It's a 7-0 run for New York over the last 90 seconds. Butler looks to quiet that run out to Highsmith. Corner three, and Haywood Highsmith answers. He has been so damn terrific over the last two weeks. Let's go. Attaboy, Highsmith. Good job by Butler. Perfect kick out in the perfect time to allow Highsmith to get an open look. McBride has it, guarded by Duncan. McBride, crossover, step back three. It's in and out. Rebound gathered by Martin. Martin out and running. K 
Caleb drives by Hartenstein, gets to the rim, rejected. Bogdanovich with the board, outlets to Hart. Hart swings it to McBride. McBride did not take the three. Instead, will settle down the Knicks offense and get it to Hartenstein. Over to Bojan Bogdanovich now. Bogdanovich guarded by Duncan. Will call for a screen. Gets the screen, but nothing there. Kicks it over McBride. McBride drives. Good defense by Highsmith, and it forces an air ball. Achua gets the rebound, but smokes the layup. Couple smoke layups by New York. Miami will be the beneficiary. Butler the other way. Jimmy to Love to Caleb. Wide open corner three. In and out. It looks like Caleb Martin almost took too long to shoot it. Got out of rhythm, if you will. Josh Hart to Achua. Achua drives on Caleb. Spins. Blocked! What a block! And then it's Saved by Kevin Love, Cardinal sin in basketball. Never save the ball underneath your own basket. And the reason why is right there because he sent it right to Josh Hart for an easy layup. Jimmy at the top of the key, guarded by Achua. Playing with him, going between his legs. Swings at the Love. Love pump fake. Three. Good! Kevin Love's second triple of the game. Lead up to nine. Good move by the veteran to get Hartenstein in the air. Settle and then knock down the tray ball. Bogdanovich, three the other way. Answers. I don't know where Miami was defensively there, but Bojan Bogdanovich has been spectacular in this game for New York. He's got nine off the bench for the Knicks. Butler, top of the key, getting a screen from Love. Gets it to Kevin Love. Pick and pop. Kevin left that short. Bogdanovich with the rebound. It's out and running. Bogdanovich barrels in the Duncan Robinson. It's a charge. Duncan Robinson, it could have been his third foul. Instead, it will be an offensive foul on New York, and it's going back to Miami. And this is an interesting decision here because if the Knicks want a challenge, they can, but it would be their second challenge of the game, which means they would have none for the rest of the game. Remember, you get one. If you get it right, you get another one, but you can't go more than two. So if even if they use the challenge, well, that means they're done for the rest of the game. It won't be challenged, so Miami ball. Rozier checks back in. So does Adebayo. It's Butler, Highsmith, Bam, Rozier, and Duncan. Terry gets it to Bam. Bam's him quiet offensively. Duncan double team Swings at the Butler. Jimmy in the left corner. Drives right, gets by Hart, hangs, can't finish. Rebound, tapped out of bounds, and it will be Knicks basketball with six and a half to go in the first half. Jalen Brunson checked back in for the Knicks. Heat was as much as up as 12 in this game, down to six right now. Brunson. Doubled, swings it to Burks. Alec Burks checks into the game for the first time. Brunson gets by Butler, hangs, layup, misses. Tried to draw the foul. That's what you get for baiting for a foul, Jalen Brunson. Butler drives on Brunson, hangs. He finishes. That's the difference right there. You look to score, you look to draw the foul. Brunson tried to hang and get the butt tap and one and smoke the layup. Jimmy just goes try to make the bucket. That's how you play offense right there. Bogdanovich misses the pull-up jumper. Bam with the board. He outlets up ahead the Butler. Butler doubled in the corner. Drops it to Duncan. Duncan swings to Highsmith. Corner three for Haywood. Doesn't go. That was a great pass from Duncan, though, finding the open shooter. Hart driving out to Burks. Corner three for him. That don't, don't, doesn't fall. Live with Alec Burks threes. He's capable. He's really good for Detroit this year. But ever since joining New York, he hasn't been that good. Butler fades away. Misses. I don't love that shot. Was double teamed and put up a one-legged fadeaway on the right wing. Would have liked him to swing it and work for a different look. Brunson in the Achua. Achua bottled up. Swings it out to Alec Burks. This is good defense for Miami with eight to go on the shot clock. Brunson. Guarded by Rozier. Brunson spinning into a double team. Good defense by Miami. Forces a turnover. Heat out and running. Highsmith to Butler. Butler layup. Good. Heat up 10. Under five to go in the half. 
and the Knicks are going to need to call a timeout. What a great defensive first half so far by Miami. Spam those fireballs. Heat up 10. Jalen Brunson didn't see the double. Highsmith timed it perfectly, stripped them, ran out in transition, drop off to Butler for the layup to go back up by double digits. This Heat team looks locked in. They look engaged like I anticipated. They're treating this game like a playoff game like I thought they would, and I like the way they have came out and played early in this one, but there is still a lot of time left to go. But the Knicks do need a timeout. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Spam all those fireballs, baby. Mr. Geo, Twilight, Axie, Manny, AS, Kane, Brian, Hellbeast, CTS, McKenna, Killacam, Javier, GR. Zin. Oh. Let's go. Love what I've seen today, man. Thundercats, Paul B, Repub. Oh, spamming those fireball emojis. I mean, I just tweeted it out. The Heat are locked in offensively. They're locked in defensively right now. Both sides of the ball. This is an early look at how the Heat will bring their intensity, their execution, their attention to detail and focus to the postseason. In this game right here, I know the Knicks are banged up is why I would still say that the Heat and the Celtics are still potentially on a collision course for the NBA Playoff Eastern Conference Finals. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Like, I, like when the Heat are locked in like this, I still be, see them beating Cleveland, see them beating New York, see them beating the Milwaukee Bucks. Like, I see it, man. I do. They just got to stay locked in. Because even though the Heat are still in the same spot, as they were last year in like that seven seed range, this team is better than last year's team. I don't care what people say. We were limping into the postseason last year as well. This year, we are kinda like I wouldn't say limping, but like we're not. We're kind of like wishy-washy right now, but we're still a better basketball team than we were last year. I don't care. And then maybe we get Tyler Hero back too, man. And then this thing really takes another step in the right direction. That's the hope, right? That's the hope. That's the hope. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 355 people watching. Jovic checks in. It's Highsmith, Rozier, Jovic, Bam, and Duncan. Brunson's got it left wing. Kicks it over to DiVincenzo. Now to Hart. Hart guarded by Jovic. To Chua. Chua hands it off to Brunson. Can't get it to him. Now does. Brunson pump fakes a three. Drives. Nothing there. Great defense by Highsmith. Highsmith! Oh, it's called for a foul as he hit Jalen Brunson on the arm. It will be Highsmith's third foul of the quarter. Honestly, Jalen Brunson committed an offensive foul first. That that's kind of that's a ridiculous miss by the officials. Brunson extended his arm and then like, Highsmith grabbed his arm as he extended it, full extension, and they called a foul there. Ridiculous. Brunson hasn't got going today yet, which is good news for Miami. Brunson drives on Rozier. Step back, top of the key. Missed it. Just not there today for Brunson. Rozier with the board. Terry out and running. Rozier probing out to Jovic. Jovic pump fakes, now drives on Hart, swings it to Highsmith. Highsmith back to Jovic. Jovic, good pass inside the BAM for a BAM slam! Lead largest of the day at 12 points. Jovic just has got eyes everywhere, folks. Eyes everywhere. Great pass by Nikola to find BAM for a slam. Brunson drives on Highsmith, steps through, swings it out to no one. It's a turnover on New York. Over and back. 
Another turnover for Jalen Brunson. Brunson is absolutely rattled tonight, folks. Usually Brunson has torched Miami. Eric Spolstra's giving him fits tonight, folks. 345 to go in the first half. Let's close this half strong. Brunson's only got six points and two assists in this game so far. Jovic Love swatted away, but it finds Duncan for three. No good. Rebound tipped out by Bam. It's gathered by Deuce McBride, though. McBride out to DiVincenzo. Right wing triple. Good. Unfortunate sequence there is a good second effort from Adebayo. Ended up in a wide open triple for New York. Rozier gets a screen. Lob up to Bam. That was a bad pass. He should have just taken the floater. DiVincenzo up to Brunson. Brunson pump fake the three. Back to Chenzo. Another triple for him. Doesn't go. Rebound fought for off New York. It's Heat basketball. Good job by Nikola Jovic. Battling with Josh Hart inside. Making sure the Knicks did not get a second chance opportunity right there. Jovic has been fantastic tonight, man. Oh, my. He's got five points, but his ability to create space inside to get rebounds, as well as find people over the top with his vision, incredible. Duncan Robinson air ball. Did that not hit a Chua? I guess it did not. It's going back to New York after an air ball from Duncan. D-Rob's just been a little inconsistent as of late, I'll say. I mean, it's his second game back from the back injury, and he hasn't been great so far. Brunson has it, guarded by Highsmith. Brunson gets a screen, drives, drops off to DiVincenzo for a baseline slam, and the Knicks are now within seven. Like I said, got to close the half out strong. Close the half out strong. DiVincenzo's got 12. Rozier, pick and roll with Bam. Rozier to the rim. Fouled. Yeah, that's a blocking foul on Deuce McBride, and Rozier's going to go to the line for two. I thought his foot was in the restricted area, and it's going to be two for Miami. And, and this is still the question that I posed earlier, right, for my, the Knicks. Yeah, he was in the restricted area, so they wouldn't challenge that anyway. But now that they already burned a challenge, yes, they get one more, but now that is their final challenge. So the Knicks have one challenge for the rest of the game, even if they get that challenge correctly. So it's a question of when do you want to burn it and stuff. Not that they would have used it there because it was clearly a foul. Rozier makes the first free throw, and his really strong first half continues, putting Miami back up by eight with 2.20 to go in the first half. Rozier's been awesome. Jimmy's honestly been good. Bam's been impactful on both ends. Jovic has been great. Haywood Highsmith's defense has been unbelievably good. The only player that I can – there's two players I can point to and say they haven't been there today, and it's been Duncan Robinson and Jaime Hawkins. Jimmy checks back in. Rozier's second free throw goes. Is Highsmith still in, or do they go back to the starting lineup? It's still Highsmith, so it's a starting lineup with Haywood instead of Duncan. Brunson walking down Rozier, doubled, finds a cutting DiVincenzo. Chenzo swings it back out to Hart. Josh Hart won't shoot the three, instead back to DiVincenzo. Good job by Butler to close the space on the shooter. DiVincenzo drives in and walks. It's a travel. Can't do that, Big Ragu. And it's going back to Miami. What defense by Butler to eliminate the space of DiVincenzo coming off of a curl. And then when he drove baseline, stood firm, did not commit a foul and reached in, and Chenzo walked with it. Both teams have seven turnovers, so it's not even like Miami's winning the turnover battle like that. But both teams turning it over a little bit here. High-intensity game. Bam, free throw line. Pump fake, kicks it back out to Rozier. Sets a screen for Terry. Terry drives. Terry spins, kicks it out to Jovic. Wide open three for Nikola is no good. It would not have mattered. A D or an offensive three-second violation called on, is it Bam or Jimmy? I don't know. It looks like it's Bam. So that's the eighth turnover of the game for the Heat. Let's see here. Oh, they're going to call it on Jimmy, not Bam. I was going to say, when I watched Bam on the replay, that was not a three second. Brunson coming off of a screen. Step back three. No good. Rozier with the board. Brunson's foul baiting. This guy's a fucking loser. 
Rozier out and running, five and four, can't find anyone. Now finds Butler on the baseline. Butler out to Jovic, one more to Terry. Rozier right wing three, good! Scary Terry's on fire, lead back up to 12. And a turnover on New York. The losers from the Knicks are out of sync today, folks. They did not show up. They are not ready to play today. What a first half by Miami. <laughs> Butler at the top, right wing. Bam will set a screen. Jimmy drives, baseline, loses it, turns it over. Ninth turnover of the half for the Heat. That's terrible. McBride, pull up three, good. Deuce McBride's been good, man. He's been good. He's been good. Rozier, McBride's got 15. Rozier, step back three. Oh, my! It's Scary Terry season, folks. We saw him go off on the game against the Wizards on Sunday. Terry Rozier has 20 first-half points. No one on the New York Knicks can guard Terry Rozier. Absolutely no one. What a game from Scary Terry. Five of six from beyond the arc. I Did they rule that a two or a three for Deuce McBride in transition? I'm going to keep the score here. I don't know if it actually is this, though. The Kasaya Center has it 43-56. Missed three by Chenzo. Rozier running. Rozier slows it down now and will hold for one good shot. Four-second differential between shot clock and game clock. A bucket here and a stop would go a long way for Miami. Jovic, right wing. Jovic won't pull a shot, swings it back to Butler. Butler gets a screen. Probing, slowing it down. Butler fades away on Hart, not able to get it to go. Highsmith outworking New York for a putback layup. The Heat are just outworking New York. Josh Hart gets off the half-court shot. It doesn't go, and that's the end of the first half. A New York Knicks team that has been preached on being the hard-working team that they are. Miami has brought it today, and I'm going to put the score at 58-43 because that's what the Kasaya Center has the score at. If we'll change it, we can change it. But get down in the comment section and grade the Heat's uh, performance so far. This is an A. They have made the Knicks look like a JV team. The Knicks have constantly turned the ball over. The Heat are getting whatever they want offensively. This has been an unbelievably good first half for Miami. But there are still 24 minutes to go. I am not satisfied. I want to beat the Knicks by 30. Let's go. Let's go. I see a lot of A-pluses and a lot of A's, even an S-plus for spectacular plus that I love to see. I mean, that was all that we could ask for as Miami Heat fans. Jimmy showed up engaged. Bam has been great on both ends. Jovic has been fantastic. Not too big for him in this big-time game. Terry Rozier, I mean, are you kidding me? 20 points in the first half. Just absolutely lighting up this Knicks defense. The New York Knicks have had no answer for Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier has done miracles on me. This is what the Heat traded for. There was a lot of concern after the way he started his Heat tenure. I, I'll be honest, I was one of them. But over the past month, Rozier has been really freaking good. And over the past four games, if you include this one, he's been incredible. I mean, I'm telling you right now, this is not going to happen where Terry Rozier shoots five or six from three and a half. That's not going to happen. He's not going to score 20 in the first half of a lot of big games. That's not going to happen. But if you are going to continue to get this type of effort from Scary Terry and make him the threat offensively that he has been, the Heat are going to be extremely dangerous in the postseason. Because when Rozier's playing like this, well, what does that happen to the opposing defense? They got to focus on him, which allows Jimmy more one-on-one -on -one situations. You can't double him when Terry's shooting like this. You can't double Bam when he's shooting like this. This That Heat trio right there is going to be really dynamic. Oh, wait. Oh, and then if Duncan Robinson gets going offensively, you got to worry about him running off screens. Oh, boy, folks, this Heat team is going to be very, very dangerous. This is what Pat Riley envisioned. 
I know he envisioned Tyler Hero into this mix right now, but Duncan Robinson, if he gets back in the form with this type of scary Terry, and then you have Jimmy and Bam elevating in the postseason as they always do, I'm starting to find it in my heart, my stomach, and my brain to see another big run coming in the postseason for the Miami Heat. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. $5 super chat from Mr. Geo. Heat set not today. Still missing Josh Richardson and Tyler Hero. Let's go. Hashtag heat playoff mode. I'm right with you there, Mr. Geo. Um, I wouldn't put Josh Richardson in these conversations anymore because Jay Rich is out for the year. So this is a team that isn't going to have him anymore. But I would say, yeah, obviously, Tyler hopefully is going to return for the postseason stretch. And if he does and is able to add another element and layer to this Heat team, then they're going to be even more dangerous. I mean, it's going to be too – it's going to be even dangerous. Tipsy Talk Podcast says, bro, you're a hypocrite. You always sway up and down depending on how they play each game. Breaking news, everybody. I either say the Heat are playing really good when they play good, or I say they're playing really bad and I'm negative when they're playing bad. Who would have thought that's a thing? What's up, Justin King? What's up, Justin? I mean, that, that that's the people that kill me right there. The people that say, like, oh, they're playing bad ball, and you want me to say that everything's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them you're playing bad basketball. I, like, what do you want me to say? They're losing by 30 to the Pelicans. Oh, this team is still so freaking good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Shout out to Mr. Geo. With the five dollar super chat. Oh, we got a couple of negative guys in the chat today. Ugh. Showcase our super chat menu while we are at half. And I'll still offer half off halftime here. Half off halftime because I'm feeling good about how the Heat are playing as they lead 58 to 43. I'm feeling good about how they're playing. So this Super Chat menu is half off the rest of the way. In that, or not the rest of the way, just halftime. Until the half returns, $10 to get into the Heat Hall of Fame and get your name on the ball. Usually the rolly deal of the day today is $10 shots. During half off halftime, we'll do $5 shots going forward. And then if you want me to do a beer bung and chug a Happy Mom, we haven't cracked it open yet today, but we chug a Happy Dad on stream. For a $20 super chat. I want to go play basketball now. The Heat have me inspired. And I'll do a shot for half off halftime since Mr. Geo was not alerted of the deal yet because, well, I didn't know I was going to make that deal yet. So let's go. Half off halftime. Let's go. Saying Sixers losing at the half. I'm not really worried about the Heat and Sixers anymore, if I'm going to be honest. Like, sure, do I want Miami to have the seventh seed rather than the eighth seed in the play-in so they'd host the first play-in game? Yes. But if i got to be honest, I don't really care. I'm more focused on how um, Indiana is going to do and if we could catch them for the sixth spot. Indiana not playing today. We play them on Sunday, which will be a massive game for Miami. If the Heat can win today and then beat the Sixers on Thursday, I'm fairly confident that we're heading in the right direction to where we're going to end up with the seventh seed at worst. But if we can really go 3-1 and one or 4-0 and oh this week, well then Miami has a chance to get the sixth seed. Terro's here, man. 20 points, 3 rebounds. Jimmy Butler, 
13 points, 5 assists, 3 rebounds. He doesn't have 3 turnovers, but he's been great. Bam has 3 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Jovic has 5 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds, and a steal. Nikola Jovic has been incredible today. I mean, plus 17 in the plus minus department. Ugh. And this is all coming with Duncan Robinson having 3 points on a 1 of 5 shooting. Kevin Love with a couple triples off the bench. Hakez has three. Highsmith has five. Highsmith has played great defense. Three fouls on him, I believe. No, only two. Only two fouls on Highsmith. Okay, that's good news. Good news. Ryan says we could get the fourth seed. I doubt it. I doubt it. We are, I believe, three and a half games back of Orlando. Making up three and a half games in... Eight games would be very, very difficult, especially since we don't play Orlando anymore. Like, if we played Orlando once or twice down the stretch, sure, we could make that up. But we already played them four times this year, beat them three times. So I get you're optimistic, but honestly, Brian, I don't even want to be the four or five seed. I want to be the six seed. That is my goal. I want to be the six seed because then we'll hopefully play Cleveland in the first round. We'll beat Cleveland in five or six games. You could take that to the bank. And then if we got matched up with the 3-6 Cleveland-Miami, we'd win in six games at worst. Five games probably at best. And then we'd probably play the winner of Milwaukee and Indiana, Milwaukee or Philly in the second round. And that is the better matchup for us. Brian says, don't you want the higher seed? Not really, no. I'm telling you this right now because I'd rather play Cleveland in the 6-3 rather than New York in the 4-5, or Orlando in the 4-5, and then we'd have to play Milwaukee in the second round instead of Boston. Save that matchup against the Celtics for the Eastern Conference Finals, potentially. I want the Cavs in round one. We'd beat them in five or six, and then we'd play Milwaukee in all likelihood in round two, unless they choke again, and I think we'd beat them in six or seven games, and then we'd have the seven-game battle that would be against the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's my guess. That's my hope, at least. Because that is the most easy path, in my opinion, for Miami to get back to the NBA Finals. That is my hope. Anyone going to take advantage of half-off halftime? $5 shots, $20 beer bong, $10 to get into the Hall of Fame. Come on. Celtics are not going to lose in the first round. They, they aren't. As, as fun as that would be, that's just not going to happen. Oh, it would be hilarious. Fuck. God damn it. Drop my ball. Kind of want to go hoop now, man. This, this, this master class for Miami in the first half has got me inspired, folks. It's got me inspired, man. Inspired ball is the best ball. When you believe and when you're locked in and you're all working in one common direction and one common goal, a lot of things are possible, man. I am off work tomorrow. That's cool, as I'm working Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all doing watch parties. So, Oh, Daywalker! Daywalker! Don't go anywhere, Daywalker! Day Daywalker, you won the month-long raffle. Daywalker, thank you for the $10 super chat. That's a... Shot and a ticket into the onto the ball. Daywalker, don't go anywhere. You won the remember that photo of D Wade and LeBron? You won the race. You weren't here at the end of the stream last time. You won the race. So you won the raffle, Daywalker. Daywalker to claim 
I don't know if you have a Twitter, but if you do have a Twitter, follow me. The link's in the live chat right now and DM me so we can get your information and I can chip it out to you. You won, Daywalker. What wizardry is this? I can't hear the ball bouncing. Get it a mic. Is it, is it, did, I, did I soundproof it? Shout out to Daywalker, though, getting into the Hall of Fame ball. Only fitting for our March month-long raffle winner. We're going to ship out that laser-printed laser autograph photo of D-Wade and LeBron. So, Daywalker, follow me on Twitter if you have one. Shoot me a DM. If you don't have a Twitter, we could maybe do Instagram. That works as well. Um, trying to figure out the best way to get in touch with you, Daywalker. But now that I have you and you realize that you won, um, we got to find some specific way. AS, great question. I became unprepared today. I had a very busy day at work. When we are here on Thursday for our watch party against the Sixers, we will have the April item picked out. So know that. And if you send in a $10 super chat today, because we'll do the same thing as $10 raffle for the month of April, I am writing your guys' name down so like Daywalker has a ticket for the April item when I get that figured out. I didn't want to rush it and just pick a random item. Like, I want to make sure it's an item that, like, a true Heat fan would want, which is what I did with the first two with the D-Wade jersey and that photo. Shout out to Daywalker getting into the Hall of Fame. That is also a shot of tequila. Daywalker, I haven't seen you say anything in the chat since A. Did you follow me on Twitter and DM me? Got to ship that out to you, kid. Got to ship that out to you. Let me write down the people that have earned themselves a raffle ticket today already. Jesus Batista has. Daywalker has. Um, those are the only two. Day Walker, Jesus, but he's dead. All right, there we go. All right, now that we're locked back in there, Day Walker, make sure to follow me on Twitter and shoot me a DM to claim your item. I know that you now know that you won, so you got to do that, my friend. All right, second half is about to get underway. Heat lead by 12, or 15, excuse me, is that three that was actually ruled a two and stayed a two by Deuce McBride in transition. So it's a 15-point lead. Knicks start with the ball in the second half. Brunson gets it, gets it inside, but it's going to be a kick ball on Adebayo. So it'll be side out for the Knicks to start. Yeah, tomorrow we're playing good ball, and you guys are just playing stupid. To be honest, you guys are playing stupid. Oh, Steve Gabriel with a $5 super chat. We'll count that for half off half time as it came in just at the buzzer. Brunson has it. Still guarded by Butler. Swings it over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo gets a screen. Drop off to Hartenstein. Hartenstein floater. Good. Tough bucket from Isaiah Hartenstein there. Hoisting that thing high in the air to get it over Adebayo's long arms in a bucket. Rozier, Duncan, Jovic, Bam, and Jimmy to start the second half for the Heat. Rozier gets it to Jovic. Jovic back to Rozier. Terry drives and turns it over. Rozier, a little out of control there. McBride in transition throws it tipped out of bounds. He'll stay with New York. Shout out to Steve Gabriel, $5 super chat. That's a shot. We'll get to that in just a second. That was a great half by Miami, but you can't allow the Knicks to get on a run to start the third quarter and get them back in the game. Got to keep your foot on the gas here. But they are a team that can come back from this, that's for sure. Brunson has it, guarded by Butler still. On the left wing, Brunson drives, pump fake, step through, fouled. Jimmy Butler commits the foul. It's a good move by Jalen Brunson to get Jimmy to bite on the pump fake there. Daywalker says done and done. Perfect. Perfect, Daywalker. I see that you just followed me. Sweet. Follow back. Make sure you send me a DM as well. 
Thank you, Day Walker. And congratulations. We will get that shipped out to you after we exchange information. Brunson makes the first free throw. So quick 15-point lead down to 12. Could potentially be 11 here. Uh, shot to Gabriel. Take a shot. All right, I see, I see a notification that looks like a DM, so sweet. All right. All right, Brunson gets both free throws, so it's 4-0 New York to start the third quarter. Jovic has it left wing, harassed by Brunson, drives right, Euro step, kicks it out to Duncan. One more to Rozier in the corner. Terry, back out to Duncan. Duncan double teamed. Back out to Rozier. He has to hoist a tough three. Oh, my! Terry Rozier! What a tough bucket that was at the end of the shot clock, fading away on the left wing. This is, th this is Terry's best game on a heat, in a uni heat uniform. He's had a couple really elite games as of late. There is nothing top of this. Six to seven from three, 23 points. Oh, Brunson almost turns it over. Jovic got his hands on it. Four seconds to go in the shot clock. What a start there. What a bucket from Rozier. Almost double clutched it. Scary Terry has been on a different level tonight, folks. Different level. Got to defend for four seconds here, and then make sure you get the rebound to close out the possession. Four. They are inbounding it in a very awkward location. Brunson gets it to DiVincenzo. Three, two, hoists a tough curling three, can't get it to go, and Bam gets the rebound. So that's perfect execution defensively by the Heat. Bam's been quiet offensively, only three points. Now backing down Hartenstein. Bam, fades away, off glass, good. Took him to school there. And let's see if that gets Adebayo going offensively. Lead up to 16, the largest of the game. McBride. Gets it to Hartenstein. Great pass back door for a tough layup. Hartenstein's one of the best passing bigs in the NBA. That is a fact. He has been fantastic tonight in that range as well. Rozier, oh, gets left open. Sidestep, elbow jumper. Oh, my. They have no answer for Terry Rozier. 25 points on the night. They have no one, 26, excuse me, that can defend him. Brunson drives, stops, fades, fouled. Duncan Robinson, Jesus, dude. Oh, my. I mean, this guy's a hack. How many times do I say this? I love Duncan because of how he spaces the floor and he knocks down tough triples for Miami and really gets other people good look and his gravitation. But he is the worst defender ever. It is 25 points for Rozier, by the way. I was right. They flashed the wrong graphic on Bally Sports. So that's on him. Rozier might go for 40 tonight. You ain't wrong about that. Brunson's at the line for two here. As Duncan's third foul of the game. Guy's a hack, man. He can't defend without fouling. It's atrocious. Brunson makes the first free throw. 60, 65-50. I expect Brunson to take this one and make it. I expect Brunson to also get going here in the second half when his team needs him. I don't expect him to have as bad as a half as again like he did. Jovic gets it to Duncan. Jovic will bring it up now. Rozier guarded by McBride. It's been advantage Miami in that matchup all night long. Rozier is stripped. Gets on the deck for it. It's a loose ball. It will be a jump ball between Hartenstein and Rozier, so this is almost certainly going to be a turnover on Terry because there's no way Rozier wins a jump ball against Isaiah Hartenstein. Rozier wants a foul. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think the Heat are going to win this tip. I don't think that's going to happen. Rozier's trying to jump early. Oh, Rozier almost won. It is Hartenstein. So it's Knicks ball down 14. Largest lead of the game for Miami was 16. It was 15 at the half. 
Brunson backing down on Terry Rozier, spinning. Fades on the baseline, tough bucket for Jalen Brunson. He's starting to get going a little bit here. 65-53 is the score. Brunson's got 12 points. Three of nine from the field, so still overall good for the Heat. Bam gets it on the left wing, faces up on Hartenstein, jab step, drives into the paint, floater, too strong, wanted a foul, didn't get it. Rebound down to Hartenstein. He'll get it to Brunson, who brings it up. Guarded by Jovic. Brunson, step back three, gets it inside the Hartenstein. Back to Brunson. Brunson out to Chenzo. Chenzo back to Brunson. Corner triple, no good. Rebound by the Heat. It's a five on four. Jovic just double, did not, I don't know what happened there. Oh, I know, is that Duncan Robinson knocked out a triple. Second three of the game, Jovic, I thought might have double dribbled with it. Instead got it to a trailing D-Rob for a wide open three. Heat 13 of 25 from deep. Jovic has been fantastic today in all facets of the game, and now Duncan has two threes. Two of um, six, I believe, for the game. Jalen Brunson gets it to McBride. McBride drives in and gets an easy layup as the Heat were out of position there. The last thing I want Miami to do here is just rest on their offense to take them home. They're going to need to get stops here too, folks. Jovic gets it to Butler on the right wing. Jimmy faces up on Josh Hart. He's got the whole side of the floor to work with. Butler backing him home. Spins in the fadeaway. Left it short. It's not the greatest possession for Miami. DiVincenzo brings it up now for the Knicks. Finds a trailing Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Wide open three. That can't happen. That cannot happen, and it's down to a 10-point game. Drew two defenders. You can't leave DiVincenzo. He's their best three-point shooter. Bam, backing down on Hartenstein. Bam, fades away in the paint. Fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. First foul on Isaiah Hartenstein today. We have our first timeout in the first or the second half. 6.50 to go in the third. Heat leads 68-58. to 58. Miami's offense has carried them for most of this game, um, but the Knicks are starting to get going a little bit for themselves on the offensive end, already having 15 points in the quarter. The Heat have scored 10 points in the quarter, but we can't want to get into a shootout for Miami. The Heat need to win this game by continuing to get stops. I'll tell you that. And if you want the Miami Heat to win this game, Join the channel and sub for dubs. Let's go. I'm going to take a shot if we get to 9,100 subscribers before we resume play in the 305. 440 people watching. I'm willing to bet there's six people that are not subscribed. I am Nick Broloff. I go live for every single Miami Heat basketball game. We'll be the number one spot for postseason Heat coverage. And then when we get to the offseason, we'll have everything covered there. Join the channel today. Join nearly... 9,100 people strong and help us eclipse that number right now by hitting that sub button. Come on. Live play-by-play -play commentary analysis on Heat basketball games, videos in between games. Come on. Hit that sub button. A little sad that we're not getting enough subscribers right here. 420 people watching. I know for a fact that not everyone subscribes. How no, unlikely it is that everybody watching this video in live stream right now is subscribed. We're also in sub-only mode in the chat, which means, well, you can't comment and participate unless you're subscribed to join the channel. CTS Will says W YouTube channel. See, he knows the he knows the deal. He knows the deal. Five more to go. Can we get five subscribers before we restart action in the third quarter? If we do, I'm taking a shot at Tequila. Four subscribers away. Who else is on YouTube taking shots, breaking down Miami Heat basketball games? I don't think anyone, actually. Huh. Two subscribers away. Bam's taking a step to the free throw line just shortly. Can we get a buzzer beater ourselves and take a shot? Game Boy says, I'm on a cruise, so no access to the game. Thanks for this. I got you, Game Boy. If you're a Heat fan, make sure you come back around. Come on. So now we're three away. Come on, folks. Come on.
Yes, Antonius? No, well, it was just a augmented timeout. Two away. Bam's about to take his free throws. Come on. Come on. Two way. Got about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Can we get to 9,100? No, nope, doesn't look like we will. And you guys missed out on a free shot. I don't know why no one subscribed. Makes me sad. Bam makes the first free throw. That will make me happy is the heat gets to a very nice 69 points. Keep your foot on the gas here, but it all starts with defense. It all starts with defense. The largest the lead got in today's game, and it was earlier this quarter, was 16. It's obviously down to 11 right now, hopefully 12 after this free throw. Can't hope that we're going to continue our hot shooting. Got to get stops. Bam goes two for two. There you go, Bam. One at three for four from the line today for Mr. Adebayo. Josh Hart will bring it up for my or for New York. It's still the same five for Miami and New York. Brunson off a curl, sees two bodies, swings it to DiVincenzo. His right wing three, no good, out of bounds, heat basketball. So there's a stop, but I still don't think that was a good possession because DiVincenzo, the next best three-point shooter, got a wide open look on the right wing. Brunson did a great job of drawing a couple bodies and then swinging it all the way across the court to an open three-point shooter. Rozier gets it now. He'll bring it up. Karma says, what's your favorite Heat jersey? Black Vice jerseys are my favorite. Those were sick. Especially those D. Wade ones in his final season. Jovic, double teamed, collects his dribble, kicks it to Butler. Butler in the quarter, guard by Brunson. Four seconds. Brunson, or Brunson does a good job and actually makes Jimmy turn it over. That's Butler's fourth turnover of the game. I mean, Jimmy's got to shoot it off the catch. I get it. You want to settle and try to drive on Butler, or I mean Brunson, but to shoot the wide open three, man. Oh, what a play by Adebayo. Defensive player of the year, in my opinion, for a reason. Reading the Knicks offense, jumping the screen, and then getting an easy steal to a Bam Slam. What a read by Bam on the defensive end. And the Heat are back up 14. Oh, man, Adebayo's just so good on that end of the floor, man. Brunson has it right wing now. Five and a half to go in the quarter. Brunson, pull up three over Jimmy. No good. Rebound to Bam. Adebayo's just been great tonight. Hasn't done it on the offensive end, but defensively and on the glass, he's been terrific. Foul call. Deuce McBride reaches in on Jimmy Butler. So it'll be side out for Miami, 5.15 to go in the third quarter. What a play by Adebayo, reading it on the defensive end. Brian Bam will be extended in the offseason. Um, he'll just get a larger payday because he's going to make the All-NBA team, which allows him to get more money than if they extended him before the season. Jovic finds Bam curling, layup, good! Bam, lead back up to 16. Jovic and Bam, the future front court for Miami. It's special sight, and as Jovic continues to grow offensively, defensively, oh, I'm so excited. Jimmy checks out, Caleb Martin in, and a turnover, Jalen Brunson turns it over, trying to find Mitchell Robinson inside. Heat lead at 16 right now. It's the largest it's been all day. Chance to make that one even larger. Jovic turns it over here. Brunson out in transition. Lobbed to DiVincenzo for a slam. So that's a quick turn for Miami. Um, Jovic wanted to foul. As he looked like he did get hit on the arm on that pass. Rozier, Bam, Jovic, Duncan, and Caleb Martin. Rozier to Bam at the top of the key. Bam swings to the Duncan. Duncan pump fakes. Sees two bodies. Goes baseline. Stripped out of bounds. It will stay with Miami on the baseline. 4.25 to go in the third. Seven on the shot clock. That was a good fast break by the Knicks. A little two-on-one action. A very easy. Even has got a lot of bounce, man. One-handed alley-oop there. That was tough. Rozier gets it on the inbound. Screen with Bam. Rozier drives. Kicks out to Caleb Martin. Wide open three. 
a legal screen called on Nikola Jovic. They tried to free Caleb up and uh, a legal screen. Or did they say Martin stepped out of bounds? I'm not completely sure. Not completely sure. Still 14-point lead for Miami. Brunson drives, spins. Good defense for Miami. It's kicked out to McBride. Open three. Good. It was good defense on the initial drive, but miscommunication on the back end on Jovic and I believe it was Rozier, not knowing if they were switching a back screen or not, which allowed McBride to be wide open. He's got 19. Jovic gets it to Rozier on the other end. Terry working on Deuce McBride. Sidestep right wing triple. Oh, my! Terry Rozier is cooking the New York Knicks. His 7-3 of the game. Terry Rozier's got 28 points, and he is just making everything. The Knicks have no answer for Terry Rozier. None. Spam those two. The best game Scary Terry has played for Miami all year long. He is making everything that he is putting up, it feels like. Woo! I mean, this is ridiculous from Terry. Foul on Duncan. He'll check out. Highsmith and Love in. So it's Rozier, Jovic, Caleb, Love, and Highsmith. Brunson gets a screen. Sees two bodies. Swings it over to Josh Hart. Hart drives. Out to DiVincenzo. Three. Good for Dante. I mean, Josh Hart is not a threat to score the ball. Stop collapsing in on him. Let him take the layup or floater. Don't give a wide open look to DiVincenzo. Rozier, guarded by Dante, swings it over to Love. Love, fouled by Mitchell Robinson on the drive. Love with a pump fake, one dribble, got reached in on. So love that from the Heat. Love, looking to inbound, gets it to Rozier. Rozier gets a screen from Jovic. Rozier to pull up three. Oh, that one didn't go. That would have brought the roof down on the Kasaya Center. And then Nikola Jovic is whistled for an over-the-back foul. All right, under three minutes or just at three minutes to go. 2.55 to be exact in the third quarter. Heat lead by 11. It's been at double-digit lead practically the entire third quarter thus far. Hopefully the Heat can close out strong and have a double-digit lead entering the fourth. We are sponsored by Factor Meals, the number one daily fantasy sports app and platform in North America. Get started with them today by going to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and using code heatchat50 to get 50% off. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, never frozen, chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals that are ready to be eaten after two minutes in the microwave. There's over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. There's also more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. Don't wait any longer. Get started today. Fuel up fast with restaurants, quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever and whenever you are. Pancakes, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and little shakes, protein smoothies. They got it all. Head to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and use code heatchat50 to get 50% off. That is code heatchat50 at factormeals.com slash heatchat50. Get that link in the live chat in the description of today's live show to get 50% off. Don't wait any longer. 540 people watching, only 175 likes. Let's get to 200 likes right now. 200 likes. Want the heat to beat the Knicks? Hit that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get in the next minute. How many likes can we get in the next minute? Can we pick up 25, 30 likes to get over 200 on the night? Can we? Come on.
Seven likes away. Let's get to 200 likes. Come on. 200 likes, heat guaranteed win. Six away. Let's get to 200 likes. <laughs> Team effort here. Over 500 people watching. Three likes away. Three likes away. There we go. 200. Big time. Big time. Let's go. All right, under three minutes to go. he still be up by 11. Hawkeyes checks in for Jovic. So it's Triple J, Martin, Love, Rozier, and Highsmith. Brunson has it. Crosses over on Hawkeyes. Step back. Goes into him. Fouled. I mean, Jalen Brunson just hunts for fouls. When did Jalen Brunson switch from being someone who tried to get a bucket to only hunt for fouls? Brunson at the line, looking to get this game down to a single-digit game. He makes the first to make it a 10-point game, 77-67. Got to close the first quarter of this second half strongly here. Lead, like I said, was as much as 16. Got to hold a double-digit lead going into the final period. The Knicks are a team that don't give up. They will come from behind. They've done it in the past. Remember the first time the Heat and Knicks played? A big comeback in that fourth quarter to beat Miami. Martin has it. Get to the Rozier. Rozier drives, kicks out the Love. Love finds a cutting high Smith for an easy layup on the baseline. Fantastic offense by Miami. And it's back to an 11 point game. Kevin Love doing it all. He's showing why he has been sorely, sorely missed in this heat rotation. McBride gets a screen from Mitchell Robinson, kicks it over to DiVincenzo, deep three, and it goes. I mean, he is just a good shooter. He is one of the better shooters in the NBA. You, you got to stop leaving him. Got to stop leaving him. Rozier gets it. It's a 13 to 5 run for the Knicks over the last three minutes. Rozier has it, trying to bail out Miami once again. He gets inside, swings at the hot guys, corner triple, left it short. I mean, he's been bad today. He's been bad. Knicks, here they come. Swings it over to Brunson. Brunson, pump fake, spun off his foot. Oh, I thought he dribbled off his own foot out of bounds. They're going to say it was off Caleb Martin's foot. So it will be side out for the Knicks. Minute 35 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, that was off Caleb. It was off Caleb. Butler back into the game. Illegal screen. Dante DiVincenzo. You can't do that, my friend. It's a turnover. Little hip action from Dante DiVincenzo. It's going back to Miami with a minute and a half. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you can't run into someone like that. That's just, that's just simple, as, simple as day, man. DiVincenzo does have 23 for the Knicks. Him and McBride have killed Miami. I mean, it's kind of amazing. Yeah, the Heat have had hot shooting tonight, but they're up eight with 15 turnovers. Certainly something you don't see every day. Love has it at the top of the key. Gets it to Butler. Butler working on Hart. Swings it to Caleb Martin. Martin pump fakes. Gets it to Highsmith. Highsmith, one more to Love. Love, deep left wing three. Rattles in and out. Rebound down to Josh Hart. Minute to go in the quarter. Hart gets a screen, finds a cutting Brunson. Brunson pump fakes, slows it down. Gets doubled. Ball kicked out to DiVincenzo, now to McBride. Good closeout by Kevin Love. Deuce McBride, straight line to the rim, though, for an easy dunk. And it's a six-point game. This is exactly what I told you. It's a 15-5 run for New York. Martin drives on Brunson, gets to the rim, and lays it up and in. A lot of contact, no call by the officials, back to an eight-point game. Come on, stop, score, stop, score. Hakez getting driven on, foul, travel! Deuce McBride walked with it, and a good stand by Hakez 
gets the turnover. And that allows Miami to potentially go two for one with 45 to go. That could have gone either way on the other side. Butler's bringing it up slowly. See if they try to go two for one or just take a good shot here. Butler gets a screen from Kevin Love. Jimmy back to Love. Love pump fakes the three. Back to Jimmy. Looks like the Heat will just settle for one good shot now. Butler into the lane. Hangs. Fouled. Butler's going to go to the line for two with 27 seconds to go in the quarter. So there will be a three-second differential between shot clock and game clock which means maybe the Heat will get the ball back depending on when New York takes their final shot of the quarter. Jimmy's got 13 points, five assists, and three rebounds tonight. Chance to get up to 15 points now with a pair of free throws and get this game back to a double-digit game. Butler makes the first, so 82-73. It'd be nice to get this free throw and a stop to ensure a double-digit lead going into the final 12 minutes. That would be nice. At least I think it would be. Uh, I think, did they take out Love for the final possession of the third? They did. Bam will be the center for defensive purposes. Butler does go two for two, so he's got 15 on the night. Lead up to 10. Heat are 15 to 16 as a team today at the line. That will play, sir. That will play. Brunson bringing it up slowly. Looks like the Knicks will probably settle for a shot close to the end of the shot clock and try to limit Miami's possession here at the end. Like I said, it's a three-second differential. Brunson gets a screen for Mitchell Robinson. Guarded by Bam. Brunson, step back three over Bam. Left it short. Good box out by Caleb Martin. Oh, my God. This is the worst foul call I have ever seen. A perfect box out by Caleb Martin is whistled a foul. Oh, I see. All right. They whistled Caleb, who grabbed Mitchell Robinson's leg. Okay. First look, it looked like a clean box out, but it looked like he did clearly grab his left leg there. So Mitchell Robinson is going to get two free throws, two seconds to go in the quarter. Mitchell Robinson's not a good free throw shooter. This is the first. So hopefully he goes 0 for 2, and the Heat will go into the final quarter with a 10-point lead. At worst, it will likely be 9 which is fine, not great. You lost the third quarter by six if he makes this. Losing by five right now, but got a double-digit or nine-point lead to work with in the final 12. Mitchell Robinson goes over two. Love from three-quarters court. Oh, he almost made it. That is the end of the third quarter. Heat will go into the final period. Up 10 points in a must-win game, if you ask me. 600 people watching. We're due for a good finish here at the Heat Report, and it's time to get your paws up. It's fourth quarter time. Spam those fours. Let's freaking go, Heat. Get the paws up, folks. Get the paws in the air. Spam those fours. If you want the Heat, to hold on to this 10-point lead and get a massive win at home. Let's go. Let's go. Dead Rats, Thundercats, Moonlight, Tyman, Callister, AS, Peyton, Kane, Jeffrey, Rome, Yami, Michael, Melvin, AS, Riley, Anita, Joe, Ryan, Thundercats, GR, Steve, AJ, Tyman, Levi, McKenna, Tipsy, AJ Money, Renmark, Gregory, Cedric, Jimmy, Carl, Florida. Keep on spamming those fours. Javier says the Sixers are losing. That's good news. I also saw someone say the Bucks lost to the Wizards. Really? Ron Baker. Trap. Let's go. If you're wondering why you can't comment in this comment section, we're in sub-only mode. So if you want to partake and get in the pause in the air and have fun in the comment section, you have to be subscribed. Charles Moore. Druck Van Trill. 
Good music, GRB, JRB. Javier spamming the fours. Dad Miller, Johan or Johan, King Bazinga, King Bazinga. Spamming those fours. Edward Paul, let's go heat, baby. Let's go heat. Reaper says, we're gay, Nick. We're going to the finals. Trust me. I hope you're right, my friend. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Oh, come on, folks. It's, it's got 12 minutes. Matthew Dancer, 12 minutes to get a big win. The Heat will start the fourth quarter with the ball, and we are underway in the Kasaya Center for the fourth quarter. Bam, who you got down below? Jimmy gets it, drives right, gets bumped by Boyanovich, kicks it out to Martin, corner three. It's good! A picture-perfect start for Miami in the fourth quarter. A wide-open corner three off good penetration on the dribble drive of Jimmy Butler, and the Heat are up 13 early. You got to really, you, you honestly should put this game away with Brunson on the bench to start the fourth quarter. DiVincenzo, corner three, answers. I mean, the kid can shoot the ball. My goodness. I mean, he can really shoot it, man. You can't leave him. Love, pump fake, sidestep, three. No answer, foul, Caleb Martin. You got to be better than that. I get you want to go for the board, but you just can't pick up that cheap of a foul and give the Knicks a closer foul to get into the bonus. Can't happen. I mean, with, with this lineup that's on the floor for the Knicks, you should have someone attached to Dante DiVincenzo's hip at all times. He should not get an inch of breathing room the rest of this quarter, as long as Brunson's on the floor, now off the floor. Bogdanovich, are you serious? Hits back iron, goes straight up in the air and falls in, and the Knicks now trail by eight. I mean, you can't let the Knicks get back into this game with Brunson on the bench. Can't happen. Butler doubled over to Highsmith. Highsmith drives out to Love in the corner. One more to Martin. Martin now drives inside, hangs, layup, finish. Good ball movement from Miami and a perfectly timed cut by Caleb Martin to get an easy layup. He's now got five points in the quarter. Josh Hart drives baseline. Finds a cutting DiVincenzo reverse layup. Good. I mean, how are we letting this happen? That I, if I'm Spo, I would consider calling a timeout right now to get the ducks in a row about how we're defending Dante DiVincenzo. He has 28 points. Butler has it. Kicks it over to Martin. Martin crosses over on Deuce McBride. Spins now to the lane. Drop off past the Highsmith. Pump fake layup. Good. Good offense by Miami. The Knicks can't stop the heat from getting by the initial defender, which is allowing easy cuts on help defense. DiVincenzo three, no good, but how does he get an open look? I mean, how are you guys allowing this to happen? Butler drives left, swings it over to Highsmith on the baseline. Pump fake, pump fake, goes up. Stripped. They said Hart gets the loose ball, but his foot was on the line, so he'll stay with Miami on the baseline. Highsmith is upset. There was no foul call. Oh, oh my God, he got hacked. That was a ridiculous no call, but it stays with Miami. They get in the Butler, over to Caleb. Martin working on Deuce McBride. Drives, loses it, regains control. Pump fake, pump fake, fade away. Can't get the baseline jumper to fall. And here comes New York. DiVincenzo in transition, ran off the three-point line, kicks it out to Deuce McBride, but good transition defense by Caleb Martin to get his hands on the ball and force it to go out of bounds. <laughs> Moonlight says all we got to do is play better offense. I am more concerned with our defense. I, we stop letting DiVincenzo get open looks. He's the only player killing you today. Well, him and Deuce McBride. He looks like they're in a little bit of a zone here. Josh Hart driving at Highsmith, spinning. Stolen away by Hawkes! Jaime out and running. Hawkes to the rim. Drop off past the Highsmith. And the Heat will slow it down offensively, getting it to Kevin Love. Love drives. Love is bumped. They call a foul, I believe, on the floor. 
It'll be side out by Miami, but a perfectly played possession there by Jaquez to read the drive by Josh Hart, the attempted kick out, and get his hands on the ball. I believe this will be on the floor. Oh, they're going to say Kevin Love was already in the act of shooting when DiVincenzo gave him the bump. So Kevin Love getting two shots here at the charity stripe. Love makes the first free throw. And, fellas, I know Kevin Love didn't play the last two games, still getting back from that injury, even though he was available. How important is Kevin Love to this team? Hit a couple threes, has a couple nice passes as well today. I mean, he is just so damn important to this Heat team if they want to reach their goals because him as the backup center is just a true difference maker. On the glass, he's better than Thomas Bryant. He's better offensively than Thomas Bryant. And you would think the defense would be lacking with Kevin Love, but it is not as bad as Thomas Bryant is defensively. Under nine to go. Heat up 12. McBride drives. Pull up mid-range shot. Rattles in and out. Rebound by Butler. Here comes Miami. Jimmy met by DiVincenzo on the right wing. Butler's got it. Backing him down. Picks up his dribble. Swings it over to Love. Love pump fakes. Now gets it to Martin. Those will play two man. Now back over to Jimmy. Jimmy gets by DiVincenzo. Euro step. Out to Highsmith. Left wing three. Left short by Haywood. And pressures to Chuo, who's been relatively quiet today for New York. Gets the rebound. Josh Hart up and running now. Drives on Highsmith. Falls to the ground. Kept his dribble, though, and kicks out to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich out to DiVincenzo. Three for Chenzo. No good. A rebound by Highsmith. That's a great board from Haywood Highsmith. Heat will slow it down now with eight to play in the ballgame. Butler to Highsmith. Highsmith out to Love. Love, right wing three. Too strong. Almost offensively rebounded, though, by Caleb Martin. Instead, it's gathered by Hart. Hart out and running. Trailing Bogdanovich. He pump fakes. Drives inside. Hangs, fouled by Kevin Love. So Bojan Bogdanovic is going to go to the line for two with 7.40 to play in this ballgame. 7.40 to play. Bojan Bogdanovic is going to go to the line to try to make this a 10-point game. The second foul on Miami already in this quarter. Got to be wary of getting New York to the line early in this period. Bogdanovich, who the Knicks acquired on trade deadline day from the new or the Detroit Pistons in exchange for um, Quentin Grimes and some second round picks, as well as uh, Evan Fournier, I believe. Rozier and Bam will check back in. Kevin Love sits down as Bogdanovich makes the first free throw. I don't know who also sat down for Miami. Could be Jimmy to give him a two or three minute rest. No, Jimmy's going to stay on the floor. What's up, Duncan? Husky hoops, baby. Bogdanovich misses the second free throw, so it stays an 11-point game. Lineup for Miami right now is Caleb Martin, Jimmy Butler, Bam, Rozier, and Highsmith. Jimmy drives right on Hart. Pull up mid-range shot. No good. Jimmy's been a little off with his jumper today. Still been effective in other areas of the ball game. Brunson back in for New York. Brunson drives on Rozier. Hangs. Floater. Good. Rozier did a good job of not getting up on Brunson as Brunson was going to try to draw a foul on that floater. Quick timeout by Eric Spolstra to talk things over as the Heat's lead is down to nine. You can tell Brunson tries to hang there and pick up a foul, but good discipline defense. You'd like to just not give up a bucket at all and not get beat off the dribble like that. So uh, there's that, though. Oh, Duncan's going to Phoenix? Oh, that's going to be sick, dude. Honestly, I don't see a way that the Huskies can stay away. I know you feel the same way, and I was stupid enough not to pick them to repeat because uh, it feels pretty obvious. Right now. What feels pretty obvious is you guys getting started with prize picks because as I was talking with UConn basketball, well, you can make picks for the Final Four over on the best daily fantasy sports app there is, prize picks. Download the app and use code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. We know March is over, but the most meaningful basketball gets played in April on the collegiate level and as well as the NBA level, just like this game right here. So get started today with prize picks. Just pick more than, pick less than. It's that easy on two or more player stat projections, and you can watch the winnings roll in. My picks today, I went 
with this three-pick lineup to win up to five times my money. It's Taco Tuesday, so I got a little discount on Luka Doncic points, more than 28 and a half points for Luka tonight. Took the combined more than on Jalen Brunson and Jimmy Butler. Jimmy's got 15. Brunson has 16, so they need a combined 18 more points as a group. I have the more than on Adebayo, three and a half assists. He's only got one, so I got some work to do. Could have flex played this, which means I only have to get two out of three right to get my money. Um, but I want power play to try to get more, and I might pay the price, folks. But either way, get started today over at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Link is in the live chat and description of today's live show. It's also easy to just download the app and input code CLNS. All right, folks, it's a nine-point game, 7.15 to go. It's heat basketball when we come out of this timeout. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. Damn near 600 people watching. You join the channel today. Live for every Heat basketball game the rest of the way will be the number one spot for the Heat postseason run, postseason coverage, as well as offseason coverage too. Join the channel today if you haven't already. Most interactive Heat YouTube channel there is. It's daily content, and I am an absolute mess. Absolute mess. I'm trying to dribble this ball over here. What's up, T-Rex? Woo. There's one subscriber. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. Seven minutes away from victory, up nine. Knicks, they have another run in them, so you have to continue to play good ball. Even Chenzo heads to the bench for a little rest here. Got to really key in on Brunson in this time. Here we go. We're back. What's up, BB? Butler will bring it up now for Miami. Butler gets a screen. Kicks it over to Bam. Bam over to Highsmith. Highsmith back to Adebayo, top of the key, guarded by Achua. Finds a curling Duncan. Duncan will hoist the three. In and out. Rebound by Brunson. I thought Jimmy could have grabbed that. Brunson brings it up. Crosses over on Butler to the rim. Hangs, floater, foul. I mean, that's all he does. It's such ticky-tack bullshit at this point. All he does is try to draw a foul. Going to be Brunson's ninth and 10th free throw attempts of the game. Chance to cut this to a seven-point game. He got to run more crisp offense in this one. Brunson's 4 of 13 from the field. You've done an excellent job on him, other than let him get to the free throw line. Brunson makes the first. The Heat have been dominated by New York in the fourth quarter in the first two matchups of the season. They're in the first two games, they're minus 31 total in the fourth quarter. Can't have that happen again. Simply can't. Brunson's second free throw here is good, so it's officially a seven-point game. The Heat led as much as 16 in the second half. Butler will bring it up. We need more crisp offense down the stretch here with good defense. Duncan gets a screen from Jimmy. Jimmy gets it back. Now back to Duncan. They're really trying to get Duncan involved here. He curls. Bogdanovich defending, and he just turns it over. Holy fuck, Duncan Robinson's been bad. Get him out of the game, dude. I'm actually sick of him today. 16th turnover for Miami. I don't feel good about this game right now. Heat could have put this game away. They haven't. I also would like to get Bam more involved offensively. Brunson working on Highsmith between the legs. Stay down on the pump fake, Hay Haywood. Brunson spins, fades away, in and out. That's why you stay down. You don't bite on any of the pump fakes so he can't get you up in the air for a foul call. And then Brunson commits an off-ball foul. It's the Knicks' second foul of the quarter. There's 6.05 to play, 92.85 Heat lead. If you haven't already, hit that sub button, sub for Heat dubs. Come on, folks. Sub for dubs. Butler will inbound from the side. They get it to Bam at the top of the key. Adebayo's been quiet offensively today, but he's been terrific defensively. Bam turns it over. These things can't happen. These fucking things can't happen. Brunson drives, Euro step, out to McBride, corner three, good. Another timeout by Spo. You're, this, this game is going to be long. The Knicks are on an 8-0 run. Dumb passes, dumb offensive possession. This is getting This is getting frustrating.
Heat are playing so careless right now. All right, I need to turn the vibes around. Let's turn the vibes around, folks. I know the Knicks forced Miami to call a timeout, but I want everyone to spam the fireball emojis. Spam the fireball emojis. Let's get the good vibes flowing back towards Miami. Come on. Let's get the vibes flowing back towards the Heat. I need that chat's help. Spam the fireball emojis to get things turning back in Miami's favor. We've scored nine points in the quarter. It's time for our offense to pick back up, folks. Come on. Brian, Juan, Thundercats, Melvin, Kane. Let's go. Let's get the vibes back in the right direction. Stay positive. Peyton. AS. Come on. Spam the fireball emoji. This is our time. This is our time. Axie, AS, 252, Dre, CJ, Thundercats, Tashani, Ryan, Kane, AJ, Antonius, Twilight, Mike Money, Javier, Daniel, Ryan McKenna, John Doe, Monty 2K, Rome March, AS, King, Bazinga. Come on. Come on. We good. We good. We good, folks. We just need... Better offense, less turnovers. Duncan Robinson to stop being a shithead. Rashard Lee's with us. I know that. I know that, Rashard Lee. I love it. Keep it getting hot in here. Stay in the fireball emojis. This is the game that Miami needs. They can't blow this. They were up 16 in the second half at one point. Under... Six to go. To be exact, it's 552. BTS will. Let's go. Rozier's been terrific. He has no points in the third or fourth quarter. He's got 28 for the game, 9 of 12 shooting. I'd like to get him and Bam in a two man action more here. Stop running slow offensive sets for Jimmy Butler, to be honest. We need to get our offense running through Terry Rozier and Bam. That's kind of how I feel about this one. Maybe maybe you guys disagree with me, but I feel like we need to get them involved. And on cue, Rozier pick and roll with Bam. Rozier swings it out to Duncan. Duncan, eight on the shot clock. We'll get a screen from Bam. That's a kick ball. Yep, okay. They didn't call it initially. They do now. So it'll be a fresh 14 on the shot clock for Miami. Five and a half to go in this ball game. The Heat have not had a shot made in four minutes, and the Knicks are on an 8-0 run. It's not good. Not good. I knew this game would somehow get close. Heat got to hold strong. Hold firm. Run your offense. Come on. Get Bojan Bogdanovic involved in pick and rolls, and let's get to work. Let's get to work. Come on. Highsmith to inbound. I mean, he can't get it in. You got to get it in, Haywood. He does at the last possible second to Duncan. Rozier gets it. 10 on the shot clock. Butler will set a screen for Rozier. Rozier Five. Step back three on Josh Hart. No good. I mean, th these are bad offensive possessions. They're just isolation step backs. Can we run a fucking set? I mean, this is so bad for Miami in the fourth quarter. Once again, the same old, same old issue run rears its ugly head. And then Duncan Robinson commits the foul, just bumping Jalen Brunson. Th this is very poor. And I, the vibes were so high earlier. I was saying how dangerous this Heat team is if they're playing like this. But then they do the same shit every time. Where it gets to the fourth quarter, and they just run horrible offensive sets. Where's the ball movement? Where's the cutting? Where's the driving dribble action to collapse the defense? Bogdanovich, step back, shot at the elbow. Good, and it's a two-point game. This is embarrassing. Bad offense by Miami. Absolutely collapsing. It's a 10-0 run for the Knicks. The, the Heat are getting into their offense so slowly. They haven't made a shot in five minutes. Butler, top of the key, guarded by McBride. Jimmy drives, stops, pump fakes, kicks it out to Highsmith. Haywood drives baseline, finds a cutting bam. At a bio, elbow shot, air ball. Shoot the fucking ball. This is, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing.
You could be losing after this possession. Deuce McBride, right wing. Swings it back over to Brunson. Brunson calls for a screen, gets a screen. Duncan is defending. Rozier helps over. Swung to Bogdanovich. Deep three. In and out. Rebound fought for. Tipped out to New York. Deuce McBride, corner three for the lead. That's no good. Tipped back up and in by Achua. This is a fucking joke. I'm telling you what. Heat lose this game. I'm done. There's no, there's no proof to me this team is going to be able to win with this fourth quarter performance. Are you fucking kidding me? Highsmith, left wing three. What an answer by Haywood Highsmith. Someone needed to step up and have some stones, and Haywood Highsmith's able to do it. Under four to go. But where are the fucking star players on this team to do something in a clutch moment? Bogdanovich, corner, stepping up. At the free throw line, fades away, good. Can your stars do something today? Rozier has it. I mean, Rozier has been carrying your ass all day, Jimmy and Bam. Rozier, sidestep three, he's fouled. And he's going to go to the line. Three free throws coming for Terry Rozier. Thank God Rozier is here to play, and thank God the Knicks are stupid. I mean, he clearly didn't give Rozier any space to land. It's a clear foul, and he's going to get three free throws with three to go. Tibbs is not happy, but he's not going to challenge because, I mean, you're not going to win that challenge. These are three free throws that Miami absolutely need. Rozier makes the first, chance to make it a two-score game here. 96-94, but I'd like for the Heat Stars to bring anything to the table tonight. I mean, they've done a lot of good things defensively, but I'm talking offensively in the biggest, clutchest moment. 800 people watching. Let's go. Sub for Heat Dubs. If you're a Heat fan and want the Heat to win, subscribe to the channel. I'm Nick Roloff. Put out daily content surrounding the Miami Heat, live for every Heat basketball game. And if you want to be covered in the postseason, and be here for every fun and massive moment for Miami the rest of the season. Join the channel today. Let's get to 9,200 subscribers. There's 80 people out there that aren't subscribed. You want the Heat to win? Show me by hitting that sub button. Come on, folks. It's our part. It's our time to show up and get good vibes towards Miami. Let's get this number rising. We have it live ticker for a reason. Let's see this number climb, baby. Hit that sub button. Come on. Let's go. Heat. 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 Two more free throws to come for Terry Rozier as he was just followed by Precious Achua on a three point step back attempt. Heat were as much or as had a lead as much as 16 in this second half. It's been a horrific fourth quarter offensively for Miami as we've seen them have those quarters all season long. But see if they could settle down and in the clutch moment with three to go, hold on to this lead in a game that I believe is a must win if they want to have a chance at the sixth seed and have a favorable matchup in the first round. Rozier's second of three attempts here. Terry Rozier to get the 30 points on the night as well. Gets a friendly roll. So Terry is officially up to 30 on the ball game. Leading score for Miami. Gives the Heat a three-point lead. Chance to make it a two-possession game here, which would be massive. Because if he makes this free throw and the Heat get a stop, you're in a really good spot here to put this game potentially on ice with three to go. Rozier goes three for three at the line. Clutch, clutch, clutch move from Terry Rozier. This is why you brought him in. Four-point game, three to go. The closing lineup for Miami. Highsmith, Martin, Bam, Rozier, and Jimmy. Brunson guarded by Caleb Martin. Calls for a screen, gets a screen. It's Haywood Highsmith. Brunson drives, stops, up and under, fades away. Left it short. What a defensive possession by Haywood Highsmith. If you win this game, it's because of Haywood Highsmith's defense today and that clutch three he hit two possessions ago. Rozier, screen, 
Step back, doesn't take it, now drives on Hart, gets to the rim, hang off glass, didn't get it to go, bam, tips it up and in, a big time bucket from Adebayo, and you're back up by six. A big stop and a big bucket by Miami. 2.20 to go, you're up six. Brunson, guarded by Rozier. On the right wing, spins, he dribbles it off his own foot. It's a turnover, going back to Miami. The defense from Rozier holds strong. The lead up to six, and a chance to really put a dagger in this one with a bucket here. That's how you show some stones. That's the stones that Miami needed. Let's go. Give me a clutch bucket, someone. Come on. Kasai Center should be on their feet. Rozier's screen, hesitating. Gets it out to Butler in the corner. Jimmy drives. Gets bumped. Hang. Shot. Off glass. It's good. Jimmy Butler with a shot to put Miami up eight. A big one. We're under two minutes to go. And after the Knicks cut it to a tie game or a one point game, the Heat go on a 7 0 run. Brunson to the corner. DiVincenzo. Bottled up, drives in. What defense by Caleb Martin. It's blocked out of bounds. What a possession by Caleb Martin. What a response by Miami. I put in the question this season after blowing a 16 point lead and said if the Heat blew this game, I would question our ability the rest of the year and they answer with a 7-0 run. That's what you love to see out of your basketball team. Brunson into DiVincenzo, layup, good, and one. Now that can't happen. That can't happen. DiVincenzo with a three-point opportunity here to get it from an eight-point game to a five-point game. Yeah, you can't do that, Caleb. You can't gamble on that steal, putting yourself in a position of weakness and vulnerability, which would allow him to take the bump on the hip and get a layup. Just let him get the layup if you get beat like that. Even Chenzo's up to 30, make it 31. Five-point game, minute and a half to go. A bucket here goes a long way for Miami. I still don't want them to burn clock. Take the first good shot that you have, because when Miami gets in these situations and tries to wait, they don't get good looks. Rozier probing on the pick and roll. Out to Martin. Martin pump fakes. Drives. Euro steps. Drop off to Bam. It's batted out of bounds. It will be four and a half to go on the shot clock. Minute 13 the game. Baseline out of bounds for Miami. Run a good set here. Ooh, not a kickball because it hit hand first on Achua. Interesting that New York went with a close of Precious Achua rather than either Mitchell Robinson. Oh, wow, they reset the shot clock. They do say it's a kickball. 14 seconds to go for Miami rather than four and a half. That's big. It was kicked, but I didn't know if it wasn't classified as a kick ball because Achua hit with his hand first, but he did kick it out of bounds technically. Rozier has it. A bucket here would put you up seven plus with a minute to go. Rozier, pick and roll with Bam. Rozier to Adebayo, free throw line jumper. It's good! Adebayo! Two clutch buckets down the stretch of this game. One on the offensive rebound, one in the mid-range with the pick and roll with Terry to put you back up seven with a minute to go. And the Knicks need to time out with a minute four to go. Spam those fireball emojis. If you can't spam the fireball emojis, it's because you're not subscribed. Do so right now. We got a 1,000 people watching. Minute and two seconds to go for the Miami Heat to close this game out and get a massive win. Get it hot in here. Spam that chat with a fireball emoji. Come on. One stop probably puts you in the driver's seat for this ball game. Chase, Jeffrey, BB, GR, Anita, Trees, Mike, Ryan, Mahar, Yami, Orlando, Mirage, Dad, Yo, nah, Peyton, Hot Dog, Alfonso, Juan, Ruben, BB, King, Tashani, Joe, John, I am Gohan, Rome, Mirage. What did I say just a little bit ago that rather than these terrible isolation possessions Miami was taking, which allowed the Heat to go scoreless for like five minutes and get the Knicks back in this ballgame, the best play that Heat can run and the reason why you made that trade at the deadline was to get Rozier, who has been cooking all night long, into a pick and roll with Bam at a bio. 
And when the Heat needed a bucket it, the most in a clutch situation, they go right to that pick and roll, and the two stars for Miami deliver with a clutch bucket. Brunson will inbound. It's still Highsmith, Bam, Rozier, Caleb, and Jimmy. Brunson to inbound. Gets it to Precious Achua. Back to Brunson. Brunson drives on Martin. Floater. Good. That's a quick, easy bucket. He went to his zone there out of the timeout. And it only took seven seconds for the Knicks to score. Butler gets it. Has to get it in. Gets it to Caleb Martin. Martin back to Butler. The Knicks don't have to foul, so you'll have to play a straight-up possession here. But you can run it down to 30. Oh, Rozier's getting hacked by Deuce McBride. Not called. Rozier pick and roll with Bam. Swing it over to Highsmith. Highsmith back to Rozier. Five on the shot clock. Terry drives right. Gets to his spot. Right wing three. Good night, New York! Jalen Brunson is not the best point guard in this game! What a triple by Terry Rozier! Heat up eight. Brunson smokes the layup. That's going to be it in Miami, folks. Bam. Brings it up. Gets it to Highsmith. Martin. Pump fake. Back to Highsmith. For a dunk. And the Heat get a massive win. 109. 99. 17 seconds to go. I am losing my voice. The Heat will get this win. Thanks to an unbelievable game. From Haywood Highsmith and Rozier. Rozier's spot is that right wing sidestep triple. He goes to it when he needs a clutch basket. He's made eight or nine of them all day long. And he sends New York packing with a big time triple. What a bucket from Scary Terry. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and spam those twos. What a game by Terry Rozier. This is his house. This is why y'all brought him in at the trade deadline. Let's go. The Knicks cut this game to one point. They actually tied it at one point. And then the Heat went on a 14-5 run over the last 2 minutes and 52 seconds to put a pin in that Knicks comeback and get a big-time victory. Wow, this fires me up, baby. I was disappointed with Miami in their fourth quarter offense, but they rebounded and showed up right when they needed to the most, thanks to Terry Rozier and Haywood Heisman. Holy shit. What a game from Scary Terry, man. Balls inbound to the Chua, even Shenzo to McBride. They get Brunson for garbage time points, driving inside, layup, smoked it. This guy stinks. That's ball game. It's over. The Heat officially win 109 to 99. A game Miami had to have for the Eastern Conference playoff seedings, and they absolutely got it. A four game week against New York, Philly. Houston and Indiana starts off with a big time win against the Knicks. The first time Miami beats New York this year, one and two on the season. Big time win. Everybody, spam those W's. Let's go Heat. 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 I said it. I questioned the season if they were going to blow this game. They played and outplayed New York all day long, and then they were choking in the fourth quarter. The game was tied. It was tied at 94, I believe. And then the Heat finished the game on a massive run to get a win. Love everybody spamming those Ws in the chat. Love everyone spamming those W's. Woo! This is Heat basketball, man. I mean, what else could you ask for? I mean, I could have liked for them to put the game away a little bit earlier. 
Um, but that wouldn't have been as entertaining, that's for sure. And shout out to Retro Sports, one of the real ones at the channel, who is with us under a thousand subscribers. I remember him watching on our watch parties back in last year's playoffs when we had first launched this channel. A $10 super chat from Retro. Retro, I don't know what. The item will be, yep, but you get a raffle ticket for April. And I'm taking a shot of tequila. Let's go, baby. What a win for Miami, man. Oh, man. Don't get it twisted. This game. Ah! This game was won by Haywood Heisman. I stand by that take. I stand by that take. Terry Rozier at 34, including an eight, or three free throws and a dagger three with about 40 seconds to go or 30 seconds to go. Terry Rozier was fantastic. This game was won by Haywood Highsmith because when the Heat were only – they tied it up. I think it was at 94, right? It was at 93 or 94 when the Knicks tied it up after the pressure to a tip in. And then um, Highsmith hit the three to put us back up by three. That, that to me, was the point where the Knicks tied this game up. And then Highsmith just said, big time three. We're, and then he locked up Brunson on the next defensive possession. Shout out to Retro Sports. Oh, Retro not done yet. Another $10 super chat, which gets him another raffle ticket for whatever the item will be. Come back on Thursday to figure out what it will be because that's when we'll officially have decided. And because he sent in two tens consecutively, $20 gets into the Miami Heat Report Hall of Fame. Retro is very deserving of this. Retro Sports. Shout out to Retro getting on to the Miami Heat Hall of Fame ball right there under Daywalker. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And then another $2 super chat from Ant, our resident Florida State Seminoles fan. Let's go. Terry Rozier has been on fire. Yes, he has. He has been nothing short of spectacular over the past four games and honestly over the past two and a half weeks. He's been great. He's been absolutely great. Woo! Man, this game felt fantastic. Terry carried offensively, but I'm telling you, don't get it twisted, man. Haywood Highsmith was the reason why this game was won. That two-possession sequence, where I said it when it happened, that when Highsmith hit the triple to put Miami back up three after New York tied the game up, and then he gets a defensive stop on Jalen Brunson, in isolation setting. I mean, that was fantastic. That was the reason right there. Oh, Retro Sports is really bringing it. He's celebrating this big win with us. Another $10 Super Chat. Let's go, Retro Sports. Let's go. Another shot on deck, baby. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Shot down. da 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 da, -da. The fact that this game ended up being a 10-point win in double digits is kind of wild. <laughs> it's kind of wild because, I mean, it should have been a double-digit win. It looked like it was going to be a double-digit win, and then the Heat choked it. The Knicks tied the game up, and then they get their, then they end up winning by 10. The Knicks fall to the five seed. The Heat are a half game back of Indiana. They are one game behind the Pacers. Indiana's 43 and 33. Miami, 42 and 33. They're two games back of the four seed. So I guess you guys weren't wrong. It's possible for Miami to get to the four spot.
Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm still trying to um, pick, uh, like, collect my, like, my heart rate here. I, I'm still coming off a of team high, man. Like, like, I feel like I just played fucking 48 minutes. Whew. Holy shit. What a game from Terry Rozier, man. And, and Antonius, you're putting up a good point here. Even though this game got close, what did I say earlier today in the game? That even though the Heat's offense was cooking, you weren't going to win this game unless you bottled them up defensively. And what did you do? You held the New York Knicks under 100 points, and they scored only 99. Now you can say, well, it shouldn't have even been that close because the Heat sc only scored, well, they scored 51 in the second half, which isn't horrible, but I was going to say. Razor, that's, that's interesting. I, I don't know how the logistics would work on that. I guess I could probably wear it like one, connect it to a website link or something, and then show it on screen. That would be something, Razor. I, I, I'm going to think about that. I mean, I, I don't know what that would bring entertainment value for you guys, but it would certainly be an interesting experiment. Reaper turns, or his birthday's tomorrow, so happy early birthday, Reaper. Good win here. The Sixers ended up beating the Thunder. They came back and won that game. Um, so you don't make up any ground on them. But to me, it's all about Thursday's game. Miami hosts the Philadelphia 76ers on Thursday. That's a big game, man. That's a big game. We That's where we turn our attention to. The Heat got a big win at home today against the Knicks, and now it's time to take care of business against the Sixers on Thursday to put some separation between us two teams on the 7-8 department. And then go on a three-game road trip, the last road trip of the season, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, against the Rockets, Pacers, and Hawks. Those three games are massive as well. I mean, every game is big. Let's not let's not play anymore. I know the game, the last couple of games we played bad teams, and um, uh, the Wizards on Sunday, and the Blazers on Friday, and like. Sure, the Heat need to win those games, but they didn't feel big games. Every single game the rest of the season is going to have big game feel. It is. It's going to have big game feel. Whew. All right. My, I, could start, I could finally feel my heart rate going down. But how about Rozier? Over the last three games, 22 points, 27 points, and 34 points, while shooting 6 of 10 from 3, 5 of 11 from 3, and 8 of 11 from Terry Rozier also eight threes today. It's the most threes made by one player in a game for the Heat this season. Rozier left it all out there, man. Razor, I agree with you outside of the fact that uh, they did blow the lead technically. Like, the lead was blown. The game was tied. And I didn't like that, and I didn't like the five minutes the Heat went without making a shot. But they rebounded so well with a very strong finish to where – I really feel like I can't complain on that end. That's for sure. I can't complain on the way they rebounded. Oh, man. Oh, wow. All right. How about Jaime Hawkins Jr. only played 12 minutes today? Probably season low. I mean, it's because of how well Haywood Highsmith played. Highsmith has been a better floor spacer than Hawkes. He's a better defender. I think at this point, the way Haywood Highsmith has been playing over the past two weeks, I think Haywood's going to play more minutes than Jaime Hawkes. I think that's where it's going to be. All right, we'll stay alive for another minute and a half. See if any super chats come in, celebrate the win, talk about 
the last seven games for Miami. Talk about what this game means for the Heat, playoffs, the innings, whatever you want. If not, we're going to sign off. Next time we'll be live is Thursday against the Sixers. Heat win Thursday's game against Philly, and they'll likely kind of feel good about their seeding, at least seventh or worse. Joel Embiid should be back, though. So Bam will have to have a big game then. Reaper, I think the chances are there. Now, I still would rather have the sixth seed, but two games back of Orlando and New York at this point. Seven games to go for Miami. The Heat finished strong. There's no telling where how high the Heat can climb. No telling. 30 more seconds until we sign off. Once the Super Chat comes in. Ooh, we're going to need the Cavs to beat the Suns tomorrow. Hopefully the Nets beat the Pacers tomorrow. That's the goal. Pelicans being the Magic could make some sense. But I don't know how about the Magic schedule coming to us, but maybe the, we've been looking at this all wrong. And maybe we need – maybe we just catch Orlando and New York. What if they fall and struggle so far down the stretch that they end up in the playing game? Maybe that's possible. Only two games, half game back of Indiana for six, but who knows? Maybe if the Heat finish this year strong, they have two games against Toronto. They have a game against Atlanta. You go 3-0 and in those games. You beat Philly and Indiana, which are two big, massive games for me that I think are going to be counted as playoff games for the Heat. So if you take care of business in those five games, the three bad teams and the two teams that you absolutely need to beat, you go 5-0, and and then you split Houston and Dallas, and you go six and one in the final seven, maybe you do climb up to and pass one of those three teams. I think it's possible. I think it's possible. All right. That's going to do it for today's live show, though. Appreciate everyone who tuned in. Over 12,000 people. Had a very fun stream, man. Had over 1,000 people watching at one point. It was a great win. Great win. We'll do it again, hopefully, all on Thursday. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we'll break down every single Miami Heat game live and we'll have a video tomorrow as well. I'll probably provide an update on the standings and talk about the state of the Miami Heat. Um, we haven't done a normal video in a while. I've been mixed with a lot of off days, watch parties, stuff like that. But I'm going to make sure to get a video out tomorrow for you guys. We'll see you then. Peace out. Let's go.